Come on, let's go. Fresh fire, fresh oil. What's up, Michelle? Glory to God. Blessings to you. Woo, come on. Somebody say, activate the faith of the Son of God. Come on, he's alive in you. You're in God. You're in Christ, the full man. You're inside the kingdom. The kingdom of God is within you. Come on, let's activate the faith of the Son of God. Let's manifest the kingdom on the earth. God has already completed everything in Jesus 11:11. Over here in Alabama, let on, let's get some comments going. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Woo! I feel the anointing of the increase. God is a God of increase. He's got a favor, faith and favor and family. We're to divinely connect. Come on, we're the last created ones. We're the first and the last man. Come on. By the first Adam, we were born into this world. Right out of a mother's womb with a seed of a father. Come on, we're learning the word of God as God is manifesting himself within us. Come on, we're in the last days of the first day of the brand new beginning. I like that, Michelle. Roll, tide, roll. Come on, we're activating new things now. We're all creators, new creations in Christ. Come on, I'm activating new things right now. I'm believing God for a mighty miracle today because what he's already purchased, he's purchased our life. Come on, he paid the death penalty of our sins. Come on, our sins have been washed by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God who is God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're created in the image and the likeness of Jesus Christ. That's how you got to see God. Come on. You live as God is on the earth. Jesus. In the full body. In you. That's how you can live a holy life today. You can be holy as he is holy. Because he set you free. Before the foundation of the world. The truth is now being spoken together with God's spirit. Our spirit being born again of God. God created everything that you can see. And the word now we're speaking by God's spirit right now. I'm going to try to keep myself calm down. I'm going to try not to go so fast. <laughs> you know, God's fast. You can't catch God. He's greater than us. He's bigger than we are. You're inside God. And God is inside you with the seed of the word of God. You can speak God's word when you know the truth of the word of God. For he is his word. The word that we now speak is by the same spirit of God. In Jesus. Same spirit of the Father. That's where you come from. That's where we're going. That's where you got to start operating in. Yes, start moving and flowing in the Spirit with God's Spirit. The unified Spirit of God. He created us for Himself to live in. God the Father's Spirit is our Spirit. Born from Jesus Christ, the Word of God. This is how we know the Word is true. We speak together with God by His Spirit. Our Spirit, born of God. Speaking the truth of the revelation of the Word of God written in the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible. Was written, come on, throughout time, ages, and seasons of the life of men and women and children. Now we are the children of the Most High God in the Spirit, now knowing God that there is no death, there is no separation from man and God. For God lives and dwells in our hearts. We have the heart of the Father through the heart of the Son, and now He is fully alive in us speaking. How could I speak these words unless God be true to His own word? I speak the word of the living God by the living Spirit of God. For Christ King Jesus set me free to be one together with Him as He is together with us right now. We're the last created ones on the earth today that do not have perverted minds. We got the mind of the living Christ, King and only one Son. Set you free from your devilicious mind. Come on, you can walk in the kingdom of the Most High God today. You can pray. You can intercede. You can be sitting in the heavenly places. You can pass judgment. Come on. You can pass death. Glory to God. Death is behind us on the cross with Jesus. Come on, your future hope is in the salvation of all of us speaking together with the same mind of Christ, with the same body of Christ, and the same word of the living God that once was and still is alive now speaking by God's spirit. This is the truth in which we now speak. God is the spirit of truth, and the spirit of truth is unified together with your spirit. Because Jesus paid the death penalty in his flesh for all of our flesh to sins together. Now together we can do all things together in Christ Jesus. For the word of God is alive in us, speaking by his spirit. Every word written in the Holy Bible, by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Scriptures, of the word of God is now speaking together with God's unified voice, of unified spirit, as God is speaking right now out of my mouth. Just as he spoke out of Peter, James, and John, and every chosen disciple of every apostolic anointing. 
Therefore, when the anointing of increase by the Spirit of God is in you, you are getting an upgrade today. You can have things as you say, say, say it and speak it and preach it. Say it. God says, open up your mouth and I'll fill my spirit up with your spirit together. We'll speak the word of God that once was, now is still alive. For God's spirit never leave you nor forsake you in us. We're the church of the last one of the breath of God. We got the breath of the unified versity, the universal breath of life of Christ. I mean, we upgraded as we live in living color. We live right now all over the world. You may not see everybody, but you know everybody because everybody's got the same mind of God, the same mind of Christ's kingdom, only one son. You got the mind of the living bread of God. You got the bread of life by the Father's blessing. You now know the word of God. For the word written is to be spoken together with God's unified spirit by his voice. How do you think God makes a sound? He does it right out of your mouth. When you know the truth of your salvation. When you know that your spirit's one spirit together with God the Father through God the Son. And now the God the Holy Spirit your spirit together with God. God's got you saved by the grace of God. God knows you more than you know yourself. I'm going to speak to everybody once once for all. Glory to God. All for one and one in all. We're all in Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God. Set us free to know the Father God. Come on. Looks like just me and you, Michelle, today. Glory to God. But we were born again for this day to be one spirit together with God as God is together with us. I mean, it's easy to walk in the kingdom of the Most High God with the living spirit of the Most High God in Jesus. There's only one spirit of the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit of the Father God and the Holy Spirit of the Son, Jesus Christ. Set us all free to be one spirit back together with God. Now we repent. That means we change our mind. We turn back to the cross into the very beginning of time. Before God ever created time, time's in our hand. God has placed his word in your mouth. You can have anything you think right now. I got to change your mind. You got to change your mind. Come on, doing time. You're not in prison. Glory to God. You've been set free from your dirty mind. You've been set free from your carnal-minded man. You've been set free from the life of sin. You've been set free by Jesus Christ and the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God chosen before the foundation of this world. Therefore, this world has been captivated by the Word of God, by the Son, Jesus Christ. Set us all free to be one spirit in the life of the Christ King and only one Son. And the Father blesses you with the same mind of Jesus and the body of Christ, same body of God. Now God lives in us. Come on, man. It's time for you to get joy your life. You know, your last name got joy now. Glory to God. You didn't change your last name. You got the melody of the first name of God. Jesus Christ is your name. Our name together in Christ King and only one son. We got the joy of the Lord is our strength. We all got the same name Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ gave us God's name and God's name we preach in the Father's name and his name above our name and all things from the Alpha and Omega to the end of the beginning. Now you can see as God sees. Speak as God knows for God speaks right now out of my mouth and speaks to your ears and out of my mouth and your ears are the same place as God is. His spirit's alive in us. You are chosen vessel of the word God speaking by the power of God loving everybody today. I got the gift of grace by the gift of love. And God loves everybody that I sound sound the alarm of the most high God. Preaching and teaching by the fire of God and the baptism of Jesus Christ is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Your spirit now knowing the Father through the Son, the Son to the Father. Now your Holy Spirit's born again. Your spirit's on fire with God. You understand? We say by the grace of God, by the mind of the Father, the mind of the Son, and our mind today. You just got to change your mind and come back to God. Repent means turn, change your mind, come back to God. Know the truth of the revelation of the word of God by the demonstration of the power of God by the same spirit who raised up Jesus Christ who is God from the dead and the Father God of the same Son in Jesus the word of God in your mouth. That's how you know the truth of the every increase of faith of the sons and the daughters of God on the earth before we ever go down to the graveyard and die in our natural bodies. Our natural bodies are the enemy against God. Therefore we all sin in the mind of our natural mind and our natural flesh but Jesus paid the death penalty of our natural sins and our natural minds will be the mind of Christ and the mind of the body of God and now he's alive right now. God is his his word is true. His spirit's on fire. I speak by God's Holy Spirit, by the spirit of truth. Jesus Christ set me free to be one together with him and the Father's blessed me with the same spirit, the mind of Jesus and the body of Jesus and the mind of the Father and the body of the Father. Right now, by the same unified voice of the same unified spirit, God is alive in us. Right now, with the church on fire, with the unified body of Christ. With the Christ, you know, one sons, all of you right now, if you hear these words and speak these words by the same word of God, of the written scriptures of the Lamb's Book of Life, you'll be on fire too with Jesus' fire. Have the love of God in your heart and love everybody. You won't even see sin anymore. You won't even walk around looking at, at hell no more. Glory to God. You're the manifest of hell on the earth or heaven right now. With the church on fire filled with the Holy Spirit. Our spirit's born of God through Jesus Christ, Son of God. And the word of God by the same word of the same Father who is God is alive in us speaking. God created us for himself to live in right now by his spirit. The Father's spirit is in us just like Jesus. Simple, I'm a child of God by the faith of the Son of God, by the word of God in which I now speak, by the same Spirit who is God. God manifests himself in me speaking. He's greater than me. 
Man, it changes my mind by renewing of the washing of the word of God. My mind is restored and reconciled back unto God by the faith of the Son of God, by the living bread of life. He is the word of God. Jesus is the Son of God and the word of God who wrapped around with flesh. Jesus represents all of heaven and hell. He defeated hell in the grave for me and you to stand on the position, the right hand of the Father with Jesus Christ, the Son of God, set us all free to be one with the Father, one with the Son, now by the same Spirit speaking to that, together with us right now. God's Spirit was, was before anything ever once was. We were in His mind. He created us for Himself, for our bodies and His mind to live in right now. We in the eternal time of God, in the last man and the creation of time, the last man, Jesus Christ, is the Christ King and only one Son, set us free from the curse of the first Adam. The last Adam set us all free to be one together with God. Now we're here right now on the earth, representing all of heaven and the earth, and the earth without form and voice. Darkness is all around the land if you don't know God. So change your mind and come back to God in the very beginning of time before God ever created man in the dust of time. You got God's Spirit right now, fresh fire. You've been born again by the Spirit of God, for the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is the same Spirit of the Father God now alive in us with the church. We're the church of Jesus Christ and the Son of God. We got the Father God, His blessing and His mind. He lives in my mind, in my spirit. God's already in us. He came when Jesus died on the cross, resurrected up on the third day. This is the last day and the first day together. As the last Adam says, freedom of the first Adam, as God created all the Adams. Now, you a new creation in Christ Jesus, born by the Spirit of the mind of God. And you know, when God starts speaking out of your mouth, you know it's not you speaking, it's Christ King, the only one Son. That's the Word of God. That's Jesus Christ with the Father's blessing, the same Spirit in you. Therefore, we got the same Spirit of God if you believe in Jesus. For you have the faith of the Son of God. And you got the Word of God by the Father's blessing, the same Spirit alive in you, in your life. And don't walk according to the flesh of the carnal man who sinned. Walk into the Spirit of God and raise us all up together by the Holy Spirit. Just get your mind back in the Spirit. If we worship God in the Spirit, truth, and the revelation of God's Word by the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Bible, your Spirit, my Spirit, the same Spirit as God is. God's alive in us. We're the final church of the final Word of God. I declare the Word of God by the first and the last Word through Jesus Christ as the Word of God. Now speaking in my life by the same Spirit once was, still is alive. God's Spirit's never changed, never changed His mind about us. He lives in this body, His mind, His life, His Spirit. That's how I preach. I preach by the Holy Spirit, a truth. I'm going to tell you the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. He's alive in all of you too, you just don't know it. I'm a man of God, chosen by God to preach the word of God by the salvation of the salvation of the blood, land, sacrifice, the Lamb of God, chosen before the foundation of the world. Now God's got us all set, set free by the word of God, by the Son, Jesus Christ, now alive in us. He speaks. Who does? Jesus speaks. His life, by His Spirit, by the Father's blessing, same Spirit. That's our spirit, born again by God. My spirit's born again through Jesus Christ, Son of God. He's the Son of Man, set me free from my carnal man and my carnal man. I'm just saved by the grace of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the living Spirit, who is God. Now God's alive in my spirit. I can't die. Ain't no way I can die unless one of y'all murder me. Ain't unless one of you just decide to take my head off or something. Why are you going to kill your brother? We're not enemies. I love everybody in the whole wide world preaching on the world wide web on social media. And God says, get them all up. They've all been saved by the grace of God, by the blood and power, the sacrifice of the Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ, Son of God. Now you know the Father of God, the same spirit in your mind. We all got the same spirit doing time. We've all been saved by the grace of God, by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ, His name. That's God's name, above our name. If I preach by any other name than the Father, Son, and now the Holy Spirit, alive in my spirit, born again by Jesus Christ, the Word of God, set me free to know the Father God once going to kill us all in the old covenant, God. But He he died for Jesus Christ, the Father. Ain't no good Father going to let their Son die. The Father's going to come down and get the Son up, put Him up above Him, and take the place of Jesus. The Father died in Jesus Christ, so did we all. Now, the God, the Father, the Spirit of us, all born again by the Father God, through the Son God, Jesus Christ, set us all free from the curse of this land. Now the curse has been removed out of my mind. I don't have the mind of the flesh man of the first Adam. I got the mind of the last Adam. Jesus set us all free. Past, future hope of all mankind. God's spirit's never changed. Never changed his mind. God created everything through the Son of God, by the Word of God, by the life of the same spirit. Who is God? Fully alive in us right now. Heaven's on the earth as we represent all of heaven and the earth right now. Fresh fire. My spirit's born of God. Born again by the power of God. Born again by the word of God. Set free by Jesus Christ's blood sacrifice. He paid the death penalty for my body and his life to live in here right now. God's alive in my spirit. Your spirit too. You just can't see it. Once you see God's spirit everywhere, I do declare he's in the earth and the fullness of the earth. He's in every tree. He's in every animal. He's in every fish, land, sea. He's in everything. God created everything through the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word of God by the written scripts of the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the word and know God's Holy Spirit. God's Holy Spirit, same as it once was, still is alive preaching his word. For the word of God is being spoken by Jesus Christ's word by his spirit. My spirit unified with him and now alive in the Father's blessing, the same spirit. He's alive. Drink this word. Taste Jesus. He's good. He set you free to be in the life of eternity. You got the same spirit of God the Father through God the Son, the Holy Spirit, your spirit, born of God. Now if we worship God in the same spirit as he resurrected up Jesus Christ from the dead, he's alive in our voices. For God speaks right now out of my voice to your ears. And if you hear by faith, and faith is alive in you too, for we all got a measure of faith in the fullness of time. 
And this is the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ preaching. For I don't speak, I don't rob God from the blessed hope of the salvation and the carnal mind of all men and women. God set us all free by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God before the foundation of the world. Now this world has been swallowed up by Jesus Christ and the Word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the same Spirit. Who is God? Alive in us. Your Spirit's born again to change your mind. God's alive in you. He set you free on the cross of Calvary. He said he died in his flesh for your flesh and your mind to be preaching and teaching about God's mind. You say by the grace of God, have the same spirit who is God, resurrect up in your life. Therefore, you just like me with the family of God, whether you white, male, black, Jew, Gentile, no matter if you're male or female, God has restored us all through the faith of Jesus Christ and the word testimony, the life of the blood of the Lamb. So we blood sacrifice. I got the blood of Jesus, the body of Christ. I got the mind of Christ. I got the Father's blessing, the same spirit, I'm fully alive in my spirit. Don't kill me today. I swear before God, Lord Jesus Christ, I swear to God, he saved me. He's alive in me speaking, and I'm not going to rob God of the blessed hope of the salvation of all men. When God speaks out of your mouth, you were born again to preach God's word, speak God's word. You are trumpet blast of the final wave, of the final warning. God says, get right standing with God right now through the faith of the Son of God by the blood power of the only begotten Son, Jesus. And if you would lie by his blood and his body and his mind, you got God, the Holy Father of the same Holy Spirit in Christ Jesus is the Holy Spirit in your life. Your spirit speaking together with God today in the the heavenly substance of Christ by the manifold increase of the power of the living spirit of the resurrected power of the living spirit I'm saved by the grace of God so are you we all been saved by Jesus Jesus is God he's a God the Messiah to the Jews and he's a savior to the world and God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son Jesus and Jesus died on the cross but the father came down and took the son's place you know if you got a son you ain't gonna let your son die in your place you're gonna come down and power God you're gonna come down the father loves us all so much he died in Jesus and we lifted up together in Christ together now we all sing the praises to God with God's Holy Spirit and the spirit of truth I'm not lying I can't be lying when I'm crying ain't dying glory to God God says you'll never die when you know my spirit of the first fruits of the only begotten son of God we the first fruit to the firstborn son and the new creation the creation time you just got to get out of your carnal wicked mind you just got to get up in Christ King no one oneself you got to get up and be baptized by Jesus life you got to get baptized by the holy fire and speak by the holy spirit of the life of the father through the life of the son for God's spirit's alive and us speaking I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ power of God salvation for the word of faith is alive in me speaking by the faith of the son of God by the living spirit who is God and the father bless me with his mind Therefore, the Father's Spirit is the Son's Spirit, and our Spirit today unified. We got the unified voice of the Living Father who said, Like me, like was, like still is, like of Christ. You got the love of God in you. I love everybody. I love every gay man, every gay woman. I love men, women, children, and everything ever created before time itself. Even Satan himself even bows his knee to the Jesus Christ and says, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He's the God of creation of all things now new. He's the same Spirit of the Father, same Spirit of the Ghost, of the Holy Ghost in me and you together. In every cricket, in every ant, in every bee, in every tree, and everything that ever once was, nothing can separate us from the love of the Father through the love of the Son by the love of the truth of the Holy Spirit speaking now I don't care what you say it don't matter what you mean you got to change your mind change your mind to read the word of God by the Holy Scriptures of the Holy Bible hallelujah God interprets his own word by the Holy Spirit now the letter of the law still kills now we've been set free from all these laws y'all got to get set free by the same blood sacrifice Lamb of God so you walk down right now the streets go in the spirit of God now get on up caught up in the spirit with us for God has set us all free through the blood sacrifice Lamb of God before the foundation of this world. Now God says, I'm alive in you by the faith of the Son of God, by the Father God, and the same Spirit who is God. The same Spirit in Jesus is your Spirit born again. For God the Father comes in you when you believe in Jesus. When you believe in the Son, I got 143 hearts in here. 143 means I love you. The greatest work to Jesus is the power of the love of the Holy Spirit and the Father Spirit and all of you. The Father went down and got Jesus off the cross. Lift up his body, lift him up above all things, and name Jesus Christ above everything, above his name. Therefore, if you preach in Jesus' name, the Son of God, you'll have the life of the Father God, of the same Spirit, who is God. Now, God's alive in those who believe in Jesus, the Son of God, and the Father bless you with the same mind of Jesus and the same body of Jesus, for he paid the death penalty of his body, his mind, for all of us as he died. And the Father blesses us right now with his mind, and his spirit of son, as you a son, daughter of Jesus Christ, born again. How? You can't see God's kingdom unless you be born again. Silver and gold have none, don't worry about no mammon. You either serve in the kingdom of God or mammon. Mammon means money. Glory to God. Who got some money today? God says you can fold out paper all you want in America. They don't even make paper, paper coins anymore. It's all going to nothing. But those who live alive in the spirit got it all, y'all. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the justified by the faith of the Son of God, by the word of God, by the Son, life of the King, and Christ King, and only one Son, Jesus Christ, set us free to be one together with God. Now God who created everything that you can't see, can see by the Holy Spirit and God that you can't see. So we live by faith, justified by faith in the Word of God, who is Jesus Christ, Son of God, and the Word of God now can't lie. 
as you testify of the world to come with Jesus Christ's spirit and your spirit born again, born of God. Therefore, if we worship in the spirit, nothing but the spirit, don't worry about the flesh, this carnal wine and this carnal place, what you see right now, you can rise up together and see as God sees as he lives in you and me together and all these bees and all these trees. We got the tree of the knowledge of the Son of Man and the Son of Christ, King and only one Son through the faith of the Father God of the same faith of the life of the Spirit God and God's Spirit is only one Spirit and Son, one Spirit and the Father, one Spirit in us. We got the Spirit of God. We're born again. We're born again by the Son, Jesus Christ, and know the Father God of the same Spirit in the mind of us. Therefore, our mind is renewed, washed clean by the Word of God, by the Son of God, who's the life of the Spirit of God, who's in all of us right now. I am preaching and teaching by the Word of faith, by the same Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead alive in my head. I've been reconciled back unto God, sitting at the right hand of the Father God, in the faith of the Son of God, resurrected up by the power of God. There's only one death in all of us now. We die together with Jesus. Now death is behind us on the cross. Now think again. Change your mind and let God live in your life by the same spirit who raised him up from the dead alive in us. We all got the same spirit of God. God the Father blesses you with the spirit of Jesus and the same Holy Spirit telling the truth. I can't even lie when God starts speaking out of my life. I'll testify and tell you every sin that I ever did. I'm a carnal mind. I'm a carnal man. But thank God I got blood washed and spirit filled and baptized by Jesus and speaking the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me Holy Spirit of the same spirit and resurrect the power of God through the word of God who is Jesus Christ the Son of God and the Father blessed me with the same words the same spirit once was. God's spirit has never changed. Our spirits unified together through the faith of the Son of God by the Word of God and the life of the same Spirit who is God. Therefore, God is alive in us speaking. And if you don't speak and preach by the same Spirit who is God of the first and the last and the last and the first, this is God's day as we walk fully in the Spirit saying, hey, glory to God. We got everybody saved. Jesus did. Hallelujah. What's up, Jason? That's a man of God. Chosen by the vessel of God. You got the mind of Christ. You got the body of Christ. You got the same spirit, the Father God, through the Son, Jesus. And our spirit's unified by the faith of the Word of God, who is the Son of God. Now we got the same blessing of the Father God. Our spirit's born of God. Our spirit walks around the heavenly places, now knowing the truth that we represent all of heaven and hell. Glory to God. You, the manifest in hell, not knowing the truth of your salvation through Jesus and the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. For you got the blood of the Lamb of God of the Father God. God loves you so much, He lives in this body and this mind by His spirit, drinking wine. Now the water of life is your spirit. And Jesus said, if you drink this water, you'll never thirst again. He ain't not talking about things I drink but in my mouth. The word comes out of me by God's spirit like a sprout, like a flower, like a tree, like a grass. See, the grass withers and goes down to the ground and the flowers bloom, glory to God, and they fall down. But we all fell down short of the glorification of God's word and every man, woman, and child's ever went down back to the ground, they fell short. Now the short is not, not, not making it all the way up to Jesus sitting together with him and the right hand of the Father and the Father bless you with the right standing righteous of God through Christ Jesus and the same spirit once was, still is on the earth. God loves the earth and the fullness of the earth belongs to God. And the Father, the same Spirit, He created all of us to be one together with us in all God's creations. Now we're going to raise the dead in Christ first because we seek by the same Spirit of the Father and through the Son, Jesus Christ, and everything that was created to be made known with the new creation through Christ, Christ Jesus, and the Word of God, who's the Son of God. He's alive in us, but blessing us with the Father God of His mind, His Spirit, right now. I mean, we just saved by the grace of the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God through Jesus Christ, the Word of God. Therefore, God speaks out of our mouth. Just as he did it, every chosen apostle, every chosen word, every chosen vessel, every, na every name in the written Bible, the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Word of God, every name written down in that book, so your name's written in them, and we written in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we got, got caught up in the faith of the Most High God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the faith of the Father God, same faith we live by. You can't please God unless you have faith. We've all been given a measure of faith for the fullness of time has come, and the Word of God speaks by the same Spirit, raised Jesus from the dead alive in my head. Now, I got the mind of Christ by the given, given grace of God. Hallelujah. We all got saved by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. I don't care if you poking another man in the booty hole. It don't matter to me. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not getting involved in that. I don't even think about that anymore. I don't think about no devil. I don't think about no demons. I don't think anything. Just got the mind of Christ. I just keep my mind. The Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, by the Christ King. I don't know what you see, what you participate in. I didn't come to condemn anybody. I come to say, just stop sinning. Just get your mind right with Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus said, you're free to have the mind of the Father. And the mind of the Father by the same Spirit of Christ King, the only one Son, Jason. We one brothers together in the nation, the kingdom of my most high God in Jesus. We got the same Spirit of God. God loves you just as much as does me. He loves all of y'all if you hear these words and speak these words by the same spirit. Peter was preaching while they were here and they were hearing and speaking, speaking. All of them started speaking and hearing at the same time. God just started speaking. They was all hearing the word of God by faith of the Son of God through Christ. King, the only one. He didn't want everybody to speak in here. Now, the word written down in the New Testament is our life. You don't even understand. The future hope is understanding that that's our life written down in the New Testament. That's the new creation in Christ. He already preordained your life. You've been preordained to walk in their steps. You walk in the steps of the apostles preaching and teaching by the same spirit. That's the future hope. God then laid it out in straight, right the straight, straight, straight gate out in front of you. You like Apostle Paul and Peter and John James and John Peter preachers. Hallelujah. That's our name in Jesus. 
Every name in named unto God is given in the name of Jesus. And he's the future hope of our salvation. We just get caught up in the spirit and our future hopes right now. You can tell your future right now. I'm going to tell the future. I'm a prophet liar. Come on, I ain't going to lie. I'm a prophesier. I can see God sees in me, you and me. We in the man in the midst of the middle. God is the last created man through Jesus Christ. Set the first man free now. He's alive in our man and mankind and all of us right now. Same spirit. We preach the gospel, the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everybody by the same spirit of Jesus Christ, by the word of God, by the Father, spirit, and our spirit in our life. Therefore, we all got the same spirit. If you can see, can you see and understand the word that we speak? For we speak the same word written down in the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures, for the words written by God. But God written down all these things. The, God, the book, the Holy Bible is about Jesus Christ. He's the word of God. He's the son of God. Now alive in us speaking. Now you can close that book because the letter of that law could kill you. Glory to God. I'm not living in seven days coming unto man. Uh, and all the time and the position you think common in the man and the natural carnal mind. I'm living in the mind of Christ by the Christ you know the one for the ever was time and I crucify myself in Jesus Christ and the word of faith by the Lord Lamb of God by the sacrifice of the word of God I died together with Jesus therefore I'm resurrected up in Christ Christ King and only one Son of my spirit by the Father's blessing his mind his spirit right here today I'm speaking about God's spirit Jesus spirit Father's spirit my spirit your spirit our spirit we one together in the spirit if we just worship together in the spirit and truth and don't think about nothing else but God's spirit and God's spirit set us all free by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God before the foundation of the world to be sons and daughters of God as we are right now. I just speak to the whole wide world and the world wide web. We the church of the ecclesia of God and God's got all of heaven standing to attention right now. Even your dead relatives that went back down to the ground and put their body back down in the sand. Maybe this sand is the best of Abraham and God says I'm a, I'm a nation of the preacher of the salvation of the kingdom of God by the one spirit, the mighty Christ. We all got the same spirit in Jesus. Hallelujah. And the same spirit the Father God set us all free. We create an image and the likeness of the Son of Man and the Son of God by the Christ King and only one Son. Now we the sons and daughters of the same spirit. You can hear, you can preach, you can say, you can bring it here. God speaks. I'm not preaching, that's God speaking. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at Jesus. You don't like Jesus. You don't like me. I love Jesus. I put Jesus Christ above my name. I preach in the name of Jesus Christ above everything I've ever done. I'm blood washed, spirit filled, fire, fire baptized by the love of Christ, by the same spirit speaking. Now, I'm not going to rob Jesus from his mouth. He's my mouth speaking by his spirit. If y'all don't like Jesus, you just don't like me. But don't kill us today. You done killed Jesus too. How many times you got to kill Jesus? I mean, you killed every one of them. You killed every single one of them that has ever been born, except Elijah. Elijah went in the world wind, turned around and gave the blessed hope representing the Father to the Son as the Father, Son, Son, Father, same Spirit giving you the same Spirit you just received the double portion I'm walking around in the Spirit the kingdom by faith, by faith I please God it's by faith I speak the Word of God it's by faith I resurrected up together with Jesus it's by faith I speak the Word of God Jesus is the Word of God by the life of our testimony by the same Spirit I ain't got time to mess no devil Hallelujah. He just resi resisted the devil. How long away he went? He just lived, got crucified, against the battles, needed Jesus. Everything was created before time itself was sacrificed by the blood of the Lamb of every creation, every known thing, every word of God now speaking by the same spirit once was, still is alive by the same spirit. I just preach by the Holy Spirit, who's God's spirit, the Father's spirit. I just don't know anything but God. I just love God because he loves me first. He's the first and last, last verse. His spirit speaking. Now, if y'all don't like God, just get mad at God. Don't get mad at me. I want to live today. Y'all don't take my head off, please. God, tell Queen Elizabeth shit I'm dead. Y'all there going around and seeing her dead casket. That woman ain't coming back. His body's down there with Jesus. And the Father got him up by the Holy Spirit manifesting a new body. I'm just preaching by the new body in Christ Jesus and the Word of God by the faith of the Son of God as the Father God's alive in our bodies. We can't even see the things we understand preaching. I mean, I'm just going to speak by His Spirit and His Spirit alone. Glory to God. I just don't want to just get up and call up Spirit with all y'all spirit, spirit ones. We got one Spirit, Jesus Christ, by the Father's blessing, the same Spirit in the Lord. Hallelujah. God is King. Jesus Christ is King. He's King. King, King, Lord of Lords, He's God the Father and God the Son, and by the same Spirit speaking together with us. I mean, that's how you understand the Word of faith by the Word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the Father God. Our minds is the mind of Christ, and our bodies is the mind of mind of Christ. King, one and only one, Son, the same Father, same Spirit. I don't even understand what I'm saying. I just let God be. He said, I am the great I am, living in you and living in all of God. Everybody you see, Lance, everybody you speak to, I got the same Spirit through my Son Jesus, and now it's the same Father, same Spirit, it's one Spirit together. You do not think about no devil, no demons. Hallelujah. Just put this mind in Christ, Christ, King, one and one, Son, says, all free, how the mind of the Father. We all create the image and likeness of God. Hallelujah. Now we need no image and don't worship no graven images. Hallelujah. God lives in all of us by the same Spirit speaking. Whoop. So if you speak about the same word of Jesus Christ and the word of God's alive in you by the same Spirit that once was before we all sinned in the first Adam, the last Adam, who was Jesus Christ, set us all free to be the new creation and the last man standing on the word of God by the word of faith, man in the midst of the middle. I like, you know, I'm the firstborn son of my mother. I am. My, my father had uh, got three sons. You know, he got three sons from my mother. I'm the first one son. 
supposed to get the blessing the first one but the last one lake lake you mean a snake but you know you got the heart of god you got the heart of gold lake lake i love you my land is in the land my land and my brother land is man in the middle you know the middle child have problems the land i'm gonna tell you right now god save you the best for last you coming out of the man in the midst of the middle god saved us all first born last last first born, once in the middle god says i saved y'all and i got another brother my daddy my daddy was married to another woman before he had a you know he had a son with another woman just like abraham did glory to god now the two men come two sons coming from one flesh one flesh in the mind of christ you understand doug glory to god i don't care if you sleep with another man you know, his name jason too curly curly you know he lives with another man glory to god his name is doug i love doug I love jason I love them all i love them all i don't even look at them i don't look at nothing else but god i just see god christ king and only one son sitting on the throne i just see jesus christ got us all up interceding with us right now saying spirit i love you all god so loved the whole wide world the world wide web Woo! he didn't captivate it with the souls of men he we got no fish glory to god he said you'll make a fish as a man you'll just preach my spirit my spirit one spirit together with you and me together how about we just all get in one spirit together and just look in the spirit seeing the spirit god sees through the blood sacrifice the lamb of god for the ever once was god is he's alive He's alive in your spirit, born again by the mind of God, by the mind of the body of God. I'm just going to tell everybody, I ain't got time to die. I ain't got time to do anything else but live. Live, 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 live. By the same resurrected power of God's spirit. I ain't got time to think about dying. Everybody's been thinking about dying. Everybody wants to go down and get older. I'm not getting older. I'm going to say by the rock of the ages, by the word of God, by the son of God, by the same spirit of this God. He's, uh, he's been here a long time. He's been through the hearts of men and women for a long time in the cycles of the seasons. Now, you know, when the woman knows how to stop a cycle. You know, you get birth to another man. You take a seed, man, put it in you. You're going to stop bleeding. Glory to God, like the one with the issue of blood, she had a blood condition. And Jesus came around and said, Woman, I ain't never seen this face. She touched him in his garment. Once you touch Jesus and get alive with the Holy Spirit, you ain't got time to make no babies no more. Because every number and every position of God's kingdom is here right now. He knows every hair number on my head. He knows greater for greater. See, alive my spirit speaking. I'm just going to let God have his way. Just speak, God. I'm live in living color with Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I'm a half man created by the hand of God. I swear by the hand of the living God at the right hand of the Father God. I'm just alive in the spirit with God. I'm rightfully divided by the word of truth, by the same spirit raised him up and me speak. I mean, I can't even comprehend the things I'm saying. Just let God speak. He done destroyed my mind by the works of the mind of the devil and destroyed the life of Jesus. Now the life of the same spirit of the Father God's alive speaking. Therefore, if we speak by the same spirit of Jesus Christ and the Father bless you with the same spirit speaking, you hear the word of faith by the faith of God. I'm just agreeing with you right now. As God speaks out of each one of us now, I can hear God in everybody's voices. I swear to God I can. I swear before the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit by his spirit. I mean, you could curse the Father and curse the Son, but I wouldn't curse yourself in the Holy Spirit for God gave you the life to live and the life to live through Jesus Christ Son of God and you got the word of the living God by the living spirit who is God therefore if you speak the truth nothing but the truth so help me Holy Spirit God's king and only one son he sets you all free by the blood of the Lamb of God through the faith of the Son of God now you have the life of the Father God of the same spirit of the mighty God therefore you resurrected up by the Holy God your life and your speaking spirit together with God now together we can do all things together with the Christ King and only one son set us free from the Father who cursed the land now the same Father who loved Jesus same Father my life of the Spirit you understand hallelujah he's gonna break me down I've been broke down by the word of God like broke down mountain. Y'all seen that movie? Glory to God. Everything ever God created by the Son of God, by the Word of God, by the same Spirit who is God. We just preaching about the Spirit of God. God will give you the wisdom of God. He'll give you the power of the Spirit. He'll give you the same resurrected power of His Spirit speaking. Therefore, if we speak the Word of faith by the Word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the Father of God, I mean, most people can't even understand what I'm saying right now. And I can't either. Not with my natural corner mind. <laughs> I just live, 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 live. Whoo! That's three, three lives, three lives. Hallelujah. I got the Father life living. I got the Son living. Got my life living with the Father and the Son and the Word of God. I mean, we just captivated by the Word of God, by the same Spirit who is God as once was still is never changing now you got to change your mind and come back to the original position that God is but we've been restored by Jesus Christ the word of God the son of God who is God and if anybody don't say Jesus is not God then the truth ain't in him Jesus came and he is God he's the father's blessing the same spirit in the mind of our lives hallelujah therefore we flow in the river of life Jesus said my word in you and your words in him and you drink the water of life you got the river of life flowing as God's spirit speaks therefore God speaks his word right out of your mouth even when you don't even understand what to say God will give you the word to say when you get caught up and captivated by God and spirit for there's only one spirit that once was still is alive by the word of God by the faith of the son of God still speaking his word today therefore God ain't gonna let you go he ain't gonna let you go now once you have the faith of the son of God and the word of God he says ain't no death can hold us back ain't no sting in my life come on I fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee but I'm no Muhammad Ali glory to God I'm giving the best of the best choice of the wine of God speaking about the truth of the spirit of God for the same spirit raised him up from the dead alive in my head I'm preaching teaching about the resurrected power of the only begotten son Jesus by the one spirit Jesus Christ by the one spirit of the father God and the one spirit in us speaking therefore if I speak the word of God to you by the same spirit in you and you get saved by the grace of God by the power of God and the same blood sacrifice the Lamb of God chosen for the foundation of the world you're a chosen vessel to speak the word of God to hear the word of God by the same spirit who is God in the life of all of us right now stop stand still you ain't even got to take a pill glory to God God's word is true 
sharper than any two-edged sword. My name is Lance. I come to pierce every bone, marrow, and flesh. I come to speak the word of God by the faith of the Son of God, by the living word of the high most, high host of the most high God. I've been delivered by the faith of the Son of God. I've been delivered by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. My mind is the mind of the living God in Christ Jesus. I have the mind of Christ in the body of the living God. Therefore, if we speak and teach by the revelation of the word of God, by the demonstration of the power of God, of the same spirit who preached out of Paul, Peter, James, and John, and all the disciples of the chosen apostles and the preaching teachers on the foundation of the word of God, by the same spirit who is God. And Jesus manifests himself in all of us, and this is how God speaks. God preaches through the word of God, who is the Son of God, by the life of the Father God, of the same spirit in Christ. For the same spirit unified together with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, our three spirits together as one spirit, ain't nothing stronger than the three-stranded cord bound together with Jesus, bound together throughout time as I'm married to God. And God says, I'm alive in your voice speaking even the things you don't even know what to say. I'm alive in you speaking by the mouth of the river of life, by the Christ King and only one Son, by the river of life, by the choice vessels to choose God today. I choose Jesus Christ as my name. I choose his body. I choose his life and my life for the Father, the same Spirit, the mind of God as he created everything to be perfected together with God of the Word of God speaking. And if you speak by the Word of God, by the faith of the Son of God, and you are the same Spirit who is God, and God speaks out of your mouth and you can hear the Word of God out of my mouth and you can understand these things, then nothing can stop us from the separation of the mind of God by the Spirit of God in Christ Jesus and the mind of the Father and the mind of the flesh in our heart. Therefore, God's alive in us speaking my mind of his flesh. My body is his body. My mind is his my mind. I got the mind of Christ caught up in the Spirit of the river of life by the Father's blessing the same Spirit resurrected up in the life of us speaking the word of faith by God's Spirit. So if you get mad at God and you get mad at Jesus, you might as well just get mad at me and come take my head off too because I don't care. I preach the gospel of grace by the power of the living Spirit of the Most High God. I believe in Jesus Christ. He's the Word of God. He is the Son of the living God of the living Father of my Spirit alive with Jesus Christ. And then I preach the word of faith by the faith of the Son of the living God who is Jesus Christ, the Son of the Word of the Father God. And if I preach by the same Spirit who is God, my Spirit is electrified. I got the same Spirit, the Father and the Son, and the Word of God speaking by His Spirit. And if you can hear these words, there's only one way we can all speak is trumpet blast of God. I was created and all of us were created to worship God together by the same Spirit who is God. And if your Spirit's born again by the Word of God, by the faith of the Son of God, and if the Father God's alive in you too, and we got the same belief and the same religion that we do not separate ourselves from God but we live in the spirit now knowing God and God changes our minds by the word of faith by the word of God by the written scriptures of the Holy Bible and we have the Holy Spirit who is God for God's spirit's never changed he's still the same yesterday today and forever and if you get caught up in the spirit sitting together with Jesus as he saved you by his flesh and his sacrifice and if he paid the death penalty of your life of your sins and if he purchased you by the blood of the Lamb of God who is Jesus Christ the word of God and if God the Father begins to manifest himself in each one of us as he always has been. He is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. God's word is true by the same spirit who once was now alive in us, born again. For my spirit's born again by the power of God, by the word of God and the life of Jesus. Therefore the same spirit of Christ King and only one son Jesus has set me free to know the Father's spirit of his spirit, my spirit, unified together with your spirit. Therefore if you hear by the word of faith and you've been justified by the word of God and if the son of the living spirit of the most high God lives in you with the Father God for the Father of the same son Jesus Christ is your life and your spirit testifies of the word of faith by the blood of the lamb by the sacrifice of the word of God and if you preach God's word by the Holy Spirit and God captivates you and he sets you up on the high mountain top in the spirit and if you sit together in the right hand of the Father with Jesus and the word of faith starts pouring out of your life as Jesus is the word of faith by the word of God by the son of God by the life of the Father God for if your mind is the mind of the Jesus and you have the mind of the Father you have the mind of the Spirit and the Spirit of the one Spirit Jesus and the one Spirit of the Father is our unified voice of spirit today. And if you speak by his voice, by his life, and if you preach the blood of the Lamb of God in your life, and you confess your sins one to another, for he is just and faithful to have forgiven your sins. And if you believe in Jesus, and you go back to the cross of Calvary, and even before time itself, when God chose his word to be, as you speak the word to come, as the life of the Spirit of God revealing Jesus Christ is the word of God with the Father's breath, you got the breath of the living Father as he breathed in the first Adam. For the last Adam was set free to have the breath of this life and the eternal life of the judgment of in. And if you stand on the word of faith by the word of God and sing together with God in the spirit and walk in the full spirit, the gospel of grace. And if you know that God is pouring his spirit out upon your head as you speak to the people on the world wide web and God so loves the world, he gave his only begotten son that you are not of this world, but you are of the kingdom of the most high God to overcome all things by the blood sacrifice and the testimony of the Lamb of God. And if the Lamb of God's alive in you speaking, then you are a soldier of God. And if you're a soldier of the most high God, and if you preach by the teaching of the manifold wisdom of the power of God, 
And if you speak by the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the first fruits, and you got the first fruits of the wine of God. And if you walk together with God in spirit, life, and truth, and if you speak above all things, within all things, for all things to be done, as God's word is alive in you speaking, for God's word is true, is not a lie. And if you preach by the Holy Spirit of truth, who relieves you from the death of this land and the curse of this place, glory to God. God says, I will raise up a generation of preachers that will speak the word of faith by the faith of the Son of the living spirit of the most high God, by the one spirit who is God. And if you know that God's spirit through Jesus Christ's spirit, your spirit preaching the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God and the word of God's flowing out of your mouth like a river and nobody can understand the things you're saying, but you can hear the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God as he's alive in you interceding. And this intercession is the best wine and the grace place and the best place to sit together with God standing in position and all of heaven and hell is standing at attention and God raises us up together in Jesus. For the word in which we now preach is the word of the Father through the word of the Son and the sacrifice of the Lamb of God to speak. And if you speak and preach God's holy word by the same Holy Spirit, do not lie to the Holy Ghost. Do not lie to the Holy Spirit, but let the Holy Spirit in your life preach. For I no longer preach. It's Christ in me. It's the Christ King and only one Son set me free from the Father who would curse this land. Therefore, the Father of the same Spirit, of the resurrected Spirit of Jesus Christ, is is alive in us preachers for how could we speak the word of faith without the faith of the word of God without the son of God setting us free to know our father and if you speak by the father of the son Jesus and of the same spirit Andrew by the mind of God and you can understand the things you're saying that we're saying together today we all preach and have the same breath of the living father through the living son before Adam the first Adam ever sinned God has restored the, through the last Adam Jesus and we come together those two Adams are one together with us by the same resurrected power the same spirit now walk in the fullness of the spirit and know that your spirit come from God father father God didn't know anybody but he created everything through the son of God and planted the seed in your life for you can hear the word of faith by the same spirit who is God for God's never left you nor forsaken you he's never left anybody we all breathe by the breath of the life of the spirit and our spirit now being born of God born by the wisdom of the most high God as God unveils our eyes to the divine understanding of the word of God and we preach and teach the truth of the revelation of God's word by the son of God in Jesus Christ and if the son of God sets you free to be the word of God by the father's blessings the same mind we all have the main mind of Christ of the body of Christ resurrected up in our life and if you open up your mouth and let God speak as he does Pastor Mom John hallelujah for we are one spirit in the name of Jesus one spirit in the father through the son and now the sacrifice of the word speaking for if you really preach the word of faith by the faith of the resurrected power of the only begotten son Jesus now you know God who he is and if God starts speaking out of your life you can humble yourself today among men and women and say I know nothing but Jesus Christ all I know is the father loves me greater than my sin all I know that through Jesus Christ the word of faith by the son and the loving God of the loving spirit the most high God and the spirit of truth who preaches that I cannot deny Jesus Christ when I know the father's blessing of his mind of his spirit and his sacrifice for my body is now God's body of the same Father of Jesus and the Word of God by the same Spirit preaching. Therefore, if I preach by the resurrected power of Jesus, the Son of God, I have the same Spirit of the Father God. For the Father came down and grabbed the Son and raised up he paid the death penalty of our sins in his flesh. And he who knew no sin became our sin sacrifice. And if we believe in Jesus, who is the Son of God, he's the seed of righteousness. He's the Word of faith. And if you have the faith of the Son of God by the seed of God, by the Word of God, you now love, live, and preach by the same Spirit who is God. Therefore, if the Father blesses you through the Son Jesus and you have the same Spirit of the life of Christ we are born again Christians Christ like ones born in the image of the most high God through Jesus Christ the son of God who is the word of God by the faith of the living God by the living spirit who is God and you can unveil everybody as you preach and teach the word of faith to everybody that hears these words for if you hear these words are not just my words they're the words of the father through the son and the son of the father same spirit that once was before the creation of time and this is the last day and the first day of the last ones of the singing and grace by the power of the same unified voice for if you speak by the voice of fire demonstrating by the power of the son and the power of the father of the same spirit and the mind of you right now you have been saved all of you as I only see as God sees as God knows well fit we've been fit in the right position to gather up God's people all of those who left their bodies and went back down to the ground this is the generation of the power of God when we stop the curse of this land and we stop dying out of our bodies and getting older in the age for the rock of ages has set us free to be in the midst of time and God says I'm in the man in the midst of you I am in your mind I'm in your spirit now you know as I know you can see as I see for today is a day of salvation don't worry about tomorrow 
Jesus never coming. Jesus said it's free over 2,000 years ago as he is God. Jesus is the son of God. He's the life of the Father. He's the life of the Spirit. And the one Spirit of the Father and the one Spirit of the Son is alive in our vessels. For our bodies are preaching and teaching by the same mind of the Father and the same mind of the Son. And we got the mind of the revelation of the Word of God demonstrating by the same Spirit who is God. Therefore, if God through Jesus Christ sets you free to now preach the Word of faith by the same Spirit and you and me together, I only see one Spirit in all of you. I do not look at your carnal flesh. I do not care what you're doing in your flesh. I don't care what you're doing in the carnal mind. I don't care what you've been out there doing. But today I make a decision. I choose Jesus Christ to live as Christ got his gain. And if I die by the sword, let it come. I preach by the living spirit of my spirit born of God. If I speak any other language, in our language, in the tongue of men, by the word of faith, by the son of God, by the faith of the living spirit, as we all been written down in blood, and the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world is alive in us preachers. For we speak and teach not my word, not my life. I preach the life of Jesus. For Jesus set me free with the Father's blessing of the same mind of God. And if God lives in your mind and your mind's been reconciled by the word of God, by the word of faith of the Son of God and the life of the same Spirit who is God, you have the Father's blessing and the blessing of the Son through the Father of your mind and your body and your life. So stand still on the salvation of the word and preach by the Spirit of the Most High God. For your spirit's one spirit together with God through the faith of the Son of God by the life of the same Spirit of God and the word of faith through Jesus Christ is alive in your mouth speaking and if you preach the truth nothing but the truth so help me Holy Spirit my born again spirit of the word of God by the faith of the living spirit of the most high God through Jesus Christ and his name is above every name even God the Father and God the Son and God the Spirit I testify of the word of faith by the faith of the living word of God by Jesus Christ the Son of God who the Father sets up on high and if I preach on high with Jesus and I preach the word of faith by the faith he's given me today I am justified by faith of the word of God by the son of God by the blood of the lamb of God and if I live unto him as he lives unto me and if I speak the truth nothing but the truth so help me Holy Spirit as God speaks I cannot rob God I'm only going to speak what God says and I'm going to tell you today I'm no longer preaching it's Christ is king he set me free to know the father and the son of the same spirit speaking therefore if I speak to you by the father's blessing of the same mind in Jesus and you have the same mind in us and we have the same river of the life of the same spirit and the spirit of God speaks out of each one of us who hear by faith preach by faith justified by faith according to the the word of God any questions let me talk to you normally don't let me be so boastful and proud help me to calm down Lord set me down as a common man with everybody for if you still out there sitting in your flesh that's why we still dying and crying come to back to God return unto thee for those who are born of the same spirit have the spirit of Jesus born again by the word of the father for the word we preach is a born again spirit of the life of Christ. You must be born again to preach. You must understand being born again. You were born once out of the first Adam, out of your mother from the seed of your father. But the father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come through the faith of the son of God by the word of God and the word of the life of our testimony. For we testify the blood of the lamb chosen before the foundation of this world. And we speak by the same spirit who is God. And God's alive in the spirit. We're born again as God the Father, Spirit's our spirit, born through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Word of God testifying of our life. And if we speak by the same Spirit in Jesus and the same Spirit of the Holy Father, by the same Holy Spirit, you already know, fresh fire. If you hear these words and can hear these words, you've been given the gift of grace to hear and speak as we speak together and hear together as all of us are saved by grace, by the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus, and have the Father's blessing of the mind of God by the same Spirit in us together. We together in spirit can do all things through Christ King, anointed one Son, has set us free to now know the Father of the same mind of the same Spirit in all of us now. That's how I see you today. I love all of you. I don't look at your sinful flesh. I don't think about the doctrines of devils and demons. Let this mind now be in use also in Christ. Jesus' blood set us all free. Let this mind be in use also in him, also in me. Though I'm the weakest of the, all of you. I am the weakest. Please, God, set us all free. I don't beg for bread. Let the word of faith speak in all of our lives. For all chosen vessels co heirs together with Jesus. And joint heirs together in Christ's King and only one Son. I'm not here to condemn anyone. For the only conviction that we have is the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. 
So if you're convicted by these words, take it up with God. For we live a holy life of the holy vessels and we don't see any enemy. We don't see evil. We live in God's kingdom. We believe by faith, live by faith, justified by faith of the word of God, who's the son of God. And it's by faith that it pleases God. And I speak by faith alone, not what I feel, see, nor taste, but taste and see Christ is king. I have not seen God. I don't know. Only things I do know, he's alive in me speaking. For I'm a dead man walking by the spirit of Christ talking. And if I speak the word of faith by the faith of the son of God, I'm dead and alive unto God. I've already died in Jesus. Death is behind me now. Get behind me, Satan. Get your ass back behind me now. Leave me alone. For Christ alone set me free. How can a man tempt God? We're all saved by the same power, the same blood, by the same grace. We all speak. We all see as God does. For the Father blesses us through the Son. And the Son blesses us through the Father. And the seed of the word of God is Jesus. And the spirit of Christ is in us. And God's alive in us speaking. And if God is in you just as much as he is in me, as I see you and I see me, I see as God is, he sees us through Jesus. God the Father blesses us with the same power, the same spirit speaking. And if God starts speaking and walking and talking in the spirit with all of us, we are the saved by grace and faith in Jesus. For the faith is resurrected up and the power of the Father. I'm drunk in the spirit. Just drunk in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> drunk in Jesus. He's a drunkard. He's a wine bibber. Whoremonger. He knew no sin took it away off of me. He took my sins away. I live by the Son of God's testimony. And the blood from the ground. His life is in us. I receive the gift of grace. The blood of the Lamb to be my blood. My body to be the body, the mind of God. Walk in the holiness of God, perfected by the Spirit. Preaching the faith of the Word of God written in the Holy Bible. For the Word which we now speak is alive by the Spirit. That the words written on paper are being burned up by the Spirit of God speaking. And if you speak by the same Spirit that raised up Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Man, you are a man of God chosen by the Father God to live in now. For today is your day of salvation. We don't see the things we are partaking of in the flesh, but the flesh and the carnal mind is the enemy against God. And if we speak by faith, justified by faith, by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God, and you get resurrected up to speak together with God as God speaks right out of your mouth, you are no different than anybody's ever been born from the first Adam, but the last Adam set us all free to now know God. And God lives in our spirit, born of the word of God by the same spirit to raise him up from the dead, alive in us speaking. And if you know you speak by God's faith and by the faith of the love, loving God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and you speak in the same spirit who is God, and God speaks with your spirit to tell everybody you got the same spirit, no matter what you think in your carnal mind, no matter how you preach or teach, no matter what you think and how much wisdom you think you got by reading his word, because you can read the word of God to try to find God, but when you find the word of God and you know it's Jesus Christ who's alive in you speaking, then you know you have been saved by the word testimony, the things you studied to show yourself approved to preach. And if you preach and speak by the same unified voice of the same voice of the Father who once was outside of the land of time, and you know you were saved before time itself through the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. You are right on time with God's Spirit. For God's Spirit's never left and is always here. For God's Spirit decrees and declares the works of the Father through the works of the Son and the, by the working power of the same Spirit. Therefore, if your Spirit is unified with the Father by the faith of the Son, the Word of God, and you live by the life of the testimony of the Father's blessing of the same voice, and you have the same breath that God breathed in the first Adam, for the last Adam set us all free to walk fully in the Spirit, now knowing God, who can hear God, who can speak together with God. We all can do all things together in Christ Jesus for the kingdom of the living God who is alive in all of us preachers. For all of you here by faith, speak by faith, justified by faith, by the faith of the word of God. For Jesus is the word of God and the life of our testimony. For if we speak by the same spirit who is God and God's spirit is in you. Who am I talking to? Is anybody left in here or do you keep running away from God's word to speak by God's spirit as we all speak the same love language by the same Holy Spirit blood washed in our bodies blood washed in our minds blood washed from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Where has the word of God in Christ Jesus preachers gone? 
Have you left all your own houses and built your own houses instead of partakers being in the divine covenant of God? Have you not manifested by the same word that God has said before the beginning of time? That through faith and alone in Jesus Christ we speak and the word of our testimony is by the blood of the sacrifice of the Lamb of God chosen as Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone that every word now partakers of the divine covenant of the word of God before God ever created man he was sorry that he made man but through Jesus Christ the last created man of God in Christ Jesus the word of our faith and testimony is now alive for Jesus set us free from the father who was sorry in his heart and the father's well pleased in the son and the Son well pleased that loves us greater for God feels our infirmities knows our weakness for God became a man in Jesus the Son of Man and the Son of God in Christ Jesus the King of Glory sets us free to know the Father's blessing of the same heart and the same position at the right hand of the Father with the righteousness of God in Christ saved by the grace of the faith of the Son of God by the living Spirit who is God therefore God loves you and chose you to be a living epistle of the living sacrifice of his word and if you speak the word of faith by the faith of the Son of the Living Spirit of God Jehovah and Jehovah blesses you through the Son Jesus and you have the same mind that God created you to be even before Adam ever fell you are now resurrected back up restored in the fullness of time and now you know what time it is it's time for all of us to open up our mouth to say we're all creations of the new creation of Christ Jesus the Son of God and by the word of faith by the word of God we speak by the Father God therefore our spirit being captivated by God our spirit being of God born of the wisdom of God through Jesus Christ the Son of God and just as Jesus walked around on this land yet now so do we captivated by the word speaking by the spirit not to boast of ourselves, but humble ourselves as God did as God became a man and Jesus is the son of man and the son of God who sets us free from our wicked minds and our wicked sin of the devil's flesh and the devil's mind I do not live by the devil's mind and my carnal self of my carnal flesh who thinks I'm better than anybody that I would know anything to preach I know nothing but Jesus Christ crucified dead buried resurrected now alive in me speaking I don't even know these words I speak but Christ in me the hope of glory is greater than me he's alive in us and I see as he is he is the word of faith by the word of God by the life of the father God now the same mind of God of the same body speaks and if you are saved by grace and you know you sinned and you sin according to the scriptures of the law of the land but you've been resurrected up above the law to sit together with Jesus by the faith of the son of God and you preach by the father God the same spirit who is God now you have been resurrected up, born again, for you cannot see God, nor understand God, nor even comprehend God, but God in his infinite wisdom is greater than us, alive in our spirit. And if you preach by the eternal spirit of the most high God, who once was and still is alive, for God has chosen you to speak his word by his unified voice of his spirit, you were created to worship God in eternity. And if you open up your mouth and worship in the spirit with the Father and the Son and the life of the Father, through the blood sacrifice of the Son and the life of the Father, the same mind of the same spirit who raised him up is alive in you and we are together with God in Christ we do not look upon men's sin any longer we do not look at women with lust in our eyes nor men we don't have the lust of the pride of this life for we have been all given life to live once born out from a woman and a man's seed but the seed of the word of God is now bursting out of us as we have the word of faith by the faith of the son of God speaking now therefore you cannot speak these words unless you give your life to Jesus unless you understand the word of faith by the son of God by the life of the father God and the word of God is now testifying out of your mouth for Jesus said if my word abide in you and you abide in me and you are the branch I am the vine and you get burned up in time and you let God's love pour out of your mouth like a river flowing out of her life whoo, of the river of grace by the mountaintop of God by the high praise of the high cost of living whoo, it costs Jesus his life and his blood for all of us to speak together with the father who is God therefore we were judged on the cross of Calvary through the son of God therefore we all know according to the law of Moses and the law of the man of this land and the law of land as I received the blood and hope of the salvation of mankind speak by the unified voice of the unified spirit of God speaking how do you think God speaks who you think he wants to talk to he created us to live with he created us to speak to if you can hear the voice of God and let the voice of God speak out of your life through Jesus the son of God and the son of man you know you are born again by the wisdom of the father who can I can do all things in Christ King anointed one son as he lives together with us right now in the spirit and if those who walk in the spirit well the spirit of truth this is the last and the first and the last day to know God for he's in the man in the midst of 
of you right now. For our spirit dwells together in the heavenly places with God. And we are justified by faith of the word of God, by the Son of God. And we are not higher nor greater than anyone on the earth right now. For we are all saved by the same word, by the same faith, by the same living spirit of the Most High God, who is fully alive in you too. So you better look and examine yourself right now to see where you stand on the word of God. For I stand in the right hand of the Father sitting down with Jesus, standing and sitting and sitting and preaching. Therefore I sit together and stand up in the spirit as God's alive in us. We are captivated by God. And if we speak by faith of the word of God, by the Son of God who set us free to now know God, we speak by the same spirit who is God. For we are born again Christians, knowing the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is alive in us. The kingdom of God flows within us from the same spirit, our spirit born of God, born by the word of God who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We do not rob Jesus from the blessing of the Father. Now if you think you just got all God, God's but God's just all in you without knowing Jesus, then you are lying to yourself and you are being dead. You got dead works. You're going around thinking you're somebody, but you're going to the same place everybody else is. Where are you going? To the graveyard, baby. You're going down there to the graveyard. Can these dead dry bones live again? I believe they can, Lord. I believe by faith, justified by faith, that my sins have been removed and the curse of death itself, Satan of death, get off me right now. I reverse the curse in the name of Jesus Christ by the Father's blessing of the same Spirit speaking. Therefore, if our spirit speaks together with the word of God, who is the word of faith of the Son of God, and we have received the same gift of the blessed hope of the salvation of all mankind, and we stand on God's word, and this is the last day to be the last and the first day together with God. And just as God created Adam, the first Adam, the last Adam set us free to know God. And if we know God in spirit, life, form, and truth, the word of God is being formed in our mouth as we walk together and do, do not sin for if you continue to sin once you know the word of faith by the faith of the son of God and the life of the spirit if you go back to your vomit and return back to your own life of your own sin as your flesh is tempted to do you will not be do not tempt God glory to God when God begins to speak out of your mouth even though you're a fallen man of sin God has resurrected you up through the son of man and you have the Christ king anointed one son spirit and if God begins to speak out of your life do not stop God from speaking and stand still on the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God, by the living Spirit of the Father God, of the same mind who is God. And if God begins to restore you in the salvation of the Word of God by the Son of God, and you begin to speak by God Himself, glory to God, He'll speak right out of your mouth. That's how you are transformed and renewed by the washing of the blood of the Lamb, by the life of the Spirit. And if you continue to walk in the Spirit and by the truth of the revelation of God's Holy Scriptures of the Holy Bible. You will change your mind by the washing of the Word of God. For God's alive in you just as much as He is me. For Jesus died on the cross for all mankind's sin. The last and the first. The first and last. And God knows every number and every hair on our head. And God is greater than we are. And we live by faith and faith alone in Jesus. And the word of faith by Jesus Christ, the Son of God, sets us free to know the Father God of the same mind that we were created all to be in the very beginning of the first Adam. For Jesus is God who set the first Adam free and every generation from our own out. Now let this mind be in use also in Christ Jesus that nothing is new under the Son. That through every generation of any time, God's appearing in the hearts of men being born again. And if God chooses you to be born again, you are a chosen breadwinner of God. That you preach the life of this life of eternal glory. Therefore, you were saved before the foundation of the world through the Lamb of God by God's word and his life and his testimony. Don't you mess with God's word by God's spirit. Now you can walk in the fullness of the full spirit, knowing God's spirit is your spirit, unified with the faith of the Son of God and the life of the Father God. As God speaks his life and your life together right now. I don't live by my faith. I don't live by my life. I live by Jesus' life as he died for me, for him to live. Now, he's fully alive. We all walk around just like Jesus did. Now, don't look at me like I'm God. Don't you dare. Don't you dare start sacrificing to me. Don't you dare run it to my altar. Don't you dare give me alms. Don't you dare throw a dime on my nickel or nothing on this table. For we sit together with Jesus and we speak nothing but the truth. For those who lust for money is the root of all evil. And those who rob red widows and orphans and those who don't know God. And if you throw another dime up here at me, you will be cursed of God. God. I speak nothing but the truth so help me Holy Spirit and let me speak by the truth of the revelation of the word of God as I sacrifice now I want nothing nothing to wear, nothing to live in, nothing to have but give me the word God. Let your word speak nothing but the truth out of my dead dying body Though my natural man is dying, my inner man is being renewed day by day and I have the full gospel of grace of God and those who walk in the spirit don't look back 
For back then we were saved at the cross of Calvary before the foundation of this world. God is still alive. And if God chooses you to open up your mouth, if he pries your mouth open and you know he's called you by his name, he says, son, rise up together with me now for I've given you your name. Jesus is alive in all of us and every name is transformed into the mind of God and the same spirit that raised up Jesus is the Father's blessing. And if you stand on the word of God, stand in the heavenly places sitting together with Jesus and the Father blesses you with the mind of Christ, you have the same body, same mind in the spirit. For we preach by faith and faith alone. Not by what we see, by what we know or what we have. For there is nothing that God has not given us through Jesus Christ and the word of faith by the life of the spirit. And if your spirit now knowing God of eternal glory, for the same spirit that once was, still is alive in you speaking. So consider your ways, man. Consider this day done, for you are the half man of the half day and the man in the midst of the middle. And if your spirit's on fire, baptized by Jesus, and your inner man is quickening your natural carnal mind and your natural mind, your outer man is being destroyed by your inner man and God is appearing as a seed of the word of God is bursting up out of your mouth. And you know we're all saved by the same grace of the blood of the Lamb that we no longer look at our former conduct nor our former man of our outer man for our outer man is of the devil. The flesh of the mind of God of the mind of men is of the Satan himself walking around seeing whom he may devour for the lust of this world and the pride of life is the root of all evil. We're at war within our members. For those who are born again by the same spirit of the living spirit of the most high God through Jesus Christ, you now know the full gospel of the word of God, for it's no longer you who speak, but God himself. Pastor Amjad received the gift of grace by the power of the same blood working power of Jesus and the life of the same spirit of our father. For our father has given us his spirit through the son and the son through the father of the same mind. Let us walk together in the kingdom. For the kingdom of God is within us and we are preaching by the most high God, the one true spirit who is God. How can any man know God unless he be born again by the same spirit in the resurrected power of Jesus Christ who is the word of God in our faith now speaking. For Jesus gave his life up for all of us to speak together with God. He's my father. The father of Jesus Christ is the word of God and his spirit's alive in me speaking. I am not ashamed to open up my mouth in front of my wife, children and relatives and neighbors and friends and enemies that Jesus is the word of faith by the word of God. He is God himself himself manifested in the son and the father's blessing in my life therefore we speak by the same unified voice of God by the same spirit as we are blood washed as we all are carnal wicked soldiers of the mind of the devil Satan himself is a mind of the flesh man who doesn't know God through Jesus for if you don't believe in Jesus Christ and the word of God how could you speak you speak of your own life you're full of yourself as I once was but now I'm born again by the word of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the same life of the same Spirit who is God. And if God be for me, who can be against me? As he's alive in you too, I only see the things I know and I speak the things I say through the life of the Son who set us all free. Now there's one man who set us all free as the Son of Man, Jesus, who is the Son of God. Now you can divide yourself up right now. You are either living the life of the flesh of this carnal world and this you got to be naked and not ashamed to walk in the Spirit, the full man in Christ. Let him be born again in you. As he's alive in us right now in the spirit. Say this to me. I walk in the spirit with Jesus. Live in the spirit of the kingdom of God with the father. So the same father of the son of the same mind of the same spirits in my life. You set free now from the spirit of death. You always think about dying. There comes a point when you're a young man and you reach a certain point in time. You quit growing and the curse is on you and you reverse back down. As man grows, he also falls. And the great falling away must come first. But before you hit the temple, the peak of your life, Jesus was 30 years old, three years and years later after his ministry was done, they, was cru they crucified him where you, God knows your number. He'll tell you the number of the days you have on this land. But you can overcome all things within all things in the man in the midst of us now. I'm 50 years old and you're a jubilee. And God says, I will pour myself out upon you. I will reveal everything within you if you'll stand on my word and believe in my son. And if you believe in my son more than yourself, if you know that you are a child of God by the Spirit of the Most High God as I've always been in you, you are blood washed before the foundation of this world. And I am God. I am the one who came in the Son. I am the Father, Spirit of the Most High God. You could curse the Father and the Son, but you don't mess with my Spirit. For the Spirit of the Most High God lives in eternity. 
He's given all of you a second chance to, to walk in the shadow of the valley of death and fear no evil. For yet while we still live in God, still, God is still alive in us speaking. For those who know the full gospel, the full truth, preach nothing but the truth, so help me truth, by the spirit of truth, by the spirit of the revelation of the word of God, demonstrating by the power of God as the apostolic anointing is the high priest of the high chief. Jesus is king of kings, Lord of lords. He's the chief cornerstone. And I decree and declare, I will not turn to stone. I will not fall down to the ground by preaching the word of faith by the word of God unless one of you come on in this house and take me down. For those who don't love these words, these are words of the faith of the Father through the faith of the Son and the faith of the living sword, the living spirit of the Most High God. And those who can see in the spirit, walk in the spirit as I can see who's been born again and whose God has placed himself in already before you even know it. The heavenly army God has chose you to be a living sacrifice of the word of faith by the word of God. We speak by the same spirit who is God. For God so loves us so much he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him you shall not perish but you will speak the word of faith by the same faith of the resurrected power of the same spirit in my life. We are the church, the ecclesia of God by the wisdom of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit who is God and God unveils himself in each and one of us the same yesterday, today and forevermore. For God, whose God has chosen to speak his word will be speaking his word at the right time when God unveils your eyes. When God says it's now your time to walk together with me for you did not choose me, you choose Jesus and once you choose Jesus, you have been chosen. For even before you were born, I knew your name for he is a God of wisdom of all things now new. We live in justified by faith of the word of God, by the son of God, by the resurrected power of God, of the same spirit who is God. For God comes inside of us and knows us. He has given us the new birthing. I was once born of a woman out of a seed of a man. But now the seed of God, who is the word of God, planted in my life before I was ever born from my mother's womb, from the seed of my father, my father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come by the faith of the Son of God, by the word of God, by the life of the same spirit who is God. Therefore, our unified voice of the unified Son of God, by the word of God, by the same unified voice of the Son of God, by the Father God, is our unified spirit today. For my spirit dwells together in eternity with God. As God restored me by the life of Jesus and the word of my life by the testimony of the same spirit. And if I speak to you by any other spirit other than the resurrected power of the only firstborn son, forgotten son of God he's not forgotten he's alive in you too just as much he is in me for we are justified by the faith of the word of God by the son of God by the life of the same father who is God therefore our spirits unified with the father through the son and by the faith of the word of God we now speak by God's spirit my spirit is born again now knowing God as we walk fully in the spirit justified by faith justified by the word of God how can we die God says you'll never die now let this mind be in you. Do not go sin any longer. You know what sin is. You know what it is, son. You've got a choice to go sin or not today. Now you choose to walk together with me and stay in the spirit. And those who walk fully in the spirit, stay together with God. I'm a man most man-minded by God's spirit. God chose me to be a living epistle of the preaching and teaching of the word of God by the word of faith. He chose me to speak his word by his spirit because he chose me to be a living sacrifice of the tree of life. Therefore, I don't walk by the knowledge of the son of man or the son of my mind but by the Son, the resurrected power of God, by the same Spirit who is God. Therefore, you got two minds in you. you got mind of spirit and mind of your flesh. Who's got, i got God's mind. Who has the mind of God by the Spirit of God who dwells in him? Who can know the word of faith unless God give you the faith to know him? God is always first. He loves you greater than your sin. He loves you so much even before the foundation of this world. He chose through Jesus Christ as he would manifest himself in the Son and the Father and the Son are the same. Are the same Spirit in your life. You better understand these things for these things are coming to fruition. God has appeared in the life of justified by men. Been a God choosing to walk in faith by the faith of the Son of God living as Jesus walked around in this earth. You better read 1 John today. 1 John will explain it really well to you. Those who walk in the Spirit know the Spirit of God who he once was. God never left us. He's, even though we sin in our flesh, we are advocate with the Father, with the Father God, of the Son of God, by the Word of God, by the Father faith of the Son of God who is the same Spirit who is God therefore the same Spirit created everything to be is alive in us as he is right now and God is not going to let us fall down if you stand in the position of the right hand of God the Father this is the last day and the first day together to be together with God and the man that you is your Spirit born again by God there's a third creation a third man and that's the Jesus Christ man and we're co-heirs together with Jesus by the same Spirit mind the Father therefore as we speak together with God we walk in the fullness of time and time itself is swallowed up by the word of God by the faith of the Son of God by the mind of the Father therefore you can separate yourself from this world right now as they do not know God but yeah, you know God for God lives and dwells in the hearts of everyone that he's chosen and if you chosen by the word of God by the faith of the son of God and you have the blood sacrifice the lamb of God he chose to die in his flesh for your flesh to be glorified together with God as you speak the word of God for my flesh is preaching the word of God by the flesh of the mind of the father for the father of the son is the same spirit in my life therefore if you know the full spirit the full gospel of the full man you already know who you are quit thinking of dying dry your ears dry your eyes Open up your ears and your mouth and speak 
From the same time you speak, you hear. And you hear as you speak with God. And God speaks and blows us up. Glory to God. Out of our mouth we praise together in unison for the unified word of God by the same spirit who is God's in all of you. And if you hear these words, God chose you to hear these words by faith. You've been given the faith of the Son of God by the word of God. This is how you know God lives in us. It's not by your own mind of your own understanding by the word of faith as God unveils your eyes and your understanding by the word of faith by the same spirit who is God. God is alive in us. God lives in every chosen vessel. God lives in your body, in your mind. For the Spirit of God who raised him from the dead is alive in you speaking. For if you speak the word of faith by the Son, Jesus Christ, you got the life of the Father God of the same mind of Jesus and the same mind of the Father as you created to be, one together with God. And God created all of us for himself to live in. We have the Spirit of the Father through the same Spirit of the Son. For Jesus is the Spirit of God. He is God. He is God who manifests in the flesh now manifests fully in us. For Jesus manifests fully in us by the blessing and hope of the same Spirit of the Father. Now if you know the Spirit of His Father, Jesus' Father, and the Word of God, you speak by the same Spirit who is God. Now you know the full gospel, the Word of God speaking. Therefore you know who's speaking the Word of faith. It's God who speaks, the Father, through the Son, the life of your life, the same Spirit. That's how you know God. For God's alive in each one of us now. He already chose you. You've been saved by grace through Jesus Christ. Jesus died once and once and for all for all mankind. He's God who paid the death penalty of your flesh and your mind. Now which mind are you living in? The mind of the devil or the mind of the Son of God? For the mind of the Son of God has the mind of the Father, the same Spirit, the mind of Christ. Christ is the anointed one who sets you free from the life of this death and the curse of this land. Therefore you represent all of heaven and all of earth and hell itself. Therefore we don't walk according to the works of the devil, the works of my mind, born of a natural carnal mind. Because we all have to come back to God by the faith of the Son of God that He chose you to be. Even before you were born out of your mother's womb, God knew about you. He knew about you and died for you over 2,000 years ago. And you know what time you were born in? You were born in the time when God appears in all of us through the gift of grace by the power of the same Spirit speaking. Therefore, who's the preacher and who's the speaker? Who's going who's to be high lifted up above everybody? Not me. I'm a co-heir together with all of you right now in Jesus. And the word of faith speaks by the same unified voice of the same Spirit. And all of us co-heirs equal. I'm not going to look at another man or another woman and see what sin they got caught up in. For we've all been caught up in the, in, in, in the devil's mind, not knowing God, every one of us. But those who know the word of God by the word of faith and gave their life to Jesus, we only gave our life to Jesus because Jesus chose us to be before we was ever created. God knows you. He knows everything. He's a sovereign God. Aren't you tired of all these accidents happening in your life? Aren't you tired of having fear? Aren't you tired of fear and dying? I don't fear dying. Ha! That's funny. We laugh at the devil. Glory to God. You devil of death. You devil of death. Get behind me, Satan. For death is behind us in Jesus. And Jesus died in his body for our body to glorify God together in the same mind of the spirit of the most high God. For our God is with us right now, leading us out of temptation. He has delivered us from evil. And the power thereof is in our mouth. And therefore we speak the word of faith by the faith of the living spirit of the most high God through Jesus. And our bodies reconciled back unto God, having the same mind who is God for God created us all to be together but God by faith and it's by faith we please God through Jesus and the son of God is now alive manifesting himself in each one of us who speak by his spirit therefore if you hear the spirit of God out of my mouth and you know you have the same spirit of Christ Jesus in you and you've been born again by the power of God through Jesus Christ son of God as you stand perfectly together with God as God the father bless you with his mind his spirit and his body right now you better join heirs together with us this is happening fast God's coming swiftly you're getting an upgrade now those who sow into the ministry today, I'm getting me a new phone because it makes a, a funky bad noise in my phone. And I don't, you know, I want to go outside on Facebook and make Facebook lives from my phone and not in the studio. Because they don't, the Facebook don't like my studio. But they're okay with my phone. I don't know why they're doing that. I just got to go with the time, ages, and seasons. I got to go with the rock of ages to hear about the voice of God to do the things that God created us to do and created us to be as we're one heir together, joint heir together with Jesus, have the Father Spirit of the same mind of the Son. You understand? I'm looking for some help. I'm looking for a helpmate as we married to Jesus. I'm looking for those who will hear the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God. Let me talk plainly to you. Because I've been caught up in the Spirit for about four years now. Glory to God on here on this live thing. But God says, I greater am I in you. And I've, I've ordained your steps to be a preacher. I've ordained your lips to speak by the Spirit of God. And you are not ashamed of me. For you will preach my word by my name in front of everybody. You don't care if it's the president or a baby being born out of a mother's womb. You don't care what anybody thinks about you. I could care less. Glory to God. I didn't ask you to pay my way. Hallelujah. I've been blood washed by the power of God. And if the power of God's in my mouth, I've been saved by the grace of the living spirit. God will prepare a place for you that no man can enter. God will take you up in the spirit, Gary. He'll give you things that your natural corner mind can't even comprehend. He'll bless you with his life. He'll give you his spirit and the joy. You can't purchase this. We are blood washed, purchased by the land of God. And this is the body that God 
God lives in. Yeah, I'm getting younger as I speak. I can tell you now. I can't lie. Hallelujah. You can't even tell a lie when God be in it. When God starts speaking, you'll be confess your sins one to another because he is faithful and just to have forgiven your sins. You will open up your mouth and say everything that you had spoken out of your mouth before God. I have confessed all my sins. My skeleton closet is clean. I got a clean spirit of God in my mind, in my body. And God restores this body. He replaces me back in the same position with Jesus as he walked around when he was 30 years old. The ministry of faith is reconciled by God's word. And the son of man, who's the son of God, who is God, I go back to his time. I'm born again by the washing of the word of God, by the same spirit who is God. Now God the Father is my spirit and your spirit together with him as we all say by the grace of the blood of the Lamb of God. Therefore you've all been given a measure of faith by the faith of the Son of God and the word of God by the life of the Father who is the same spirit. Now your spirit, my spirit, same spirit as God is. For God loves those who worship Jesus Christ through him. We can do all things in the same spirit of Jesus and the same spirit of the Son, same spirit of our Father who dwells within you now. So walk in the spirit. Who am I talking to, Donnie Moore? We're one church unified together with the body of Christ by the same mind of God and Jesus is the leader of this host. We got the host of the most high God of the same unified voice of God. Therefore, if we speak in the name of Jesus Christ and the Father blesses us with his mind, his body, his spirit, how you think God's appearing in us? God is alive in us by the spirit. We walk in the full gospel of the full spirit. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Y'all having a conversation? I've been caught up again. Let me get connected with you. I'm looking for the divine connection of God's word and God's assignment that we all one spirit together with God and Jesus is the head of this church. For God chose me before the foundation of the world to be a preacher, to be a speaker. That's my gift. Hallelujah. I just let God speak. I'm not worried about what anybody else thinks. It don't matter to me. You can ask my wife. That boy's going to say what he wants to say. You can ask my mother. He came out of me screaming. Hallelujah. I'm not screaming like a demon. I'm not here to cast demons out of you so you can throw up in a bucket. I'm here to get you filled up with God's spirit as I'm speaking just like Peter while Peter was still preaching. And those who heard the word of faith and Christ King, another one, it wasn't Peter that was preaching, baby. I was a son of man. I was a son of God with the Father's blessing of the Christ King. He knew the word of God. He heard the rooster crow. And when he heard the rooster crow, it was God who made that rooster crow. And the same voice that came out that rooster, who you think made that chicken crow? Glory to God. That's God's spirit alive everywhere. I decree and declare God's spirit is amongst the earth. He's in every land. He's in every body. He's in the word of faith. He is the life of the faith of the ones who speak and the land of time. And time is at hand when God's appeared in all of our voices as we stand on the earth representing all of heaven. And God's spirit's alive in every single vessel chosen to be born again by God. We are captivated by God in the spirit. We live in the spirit of the eternal spirit of the most high God. For the same spirit that once was still is alive in us preaching. So if you know your blood washed and you're not going to go to hell. For Jesus defeated hell, death, and the grave of your wicked sins. So therefore we don't walk according to our justified of our own justification. We are justified by faith in the Son of God. By the living bread of life who is God. And God is the same spirit of the Father, Son. And now our spirit born of God. And if you follow a man preaching and teaching the word of faith, he won't ask a nickel from you. Now, he knows he needs some things to take care of, and I'm just believing the same spirit, me, same spirit, and you, you can hear God. God knows our needs, but we have one. You don't even have to ask. God will prepare a place for you. He'll give you the things and give you the desires of your heart when you know God, and God knows your needs. I'm ready to get an upgraded phone. I need somebody to sow something here from God today, for you got it, and I got it, and you got it. You got what I need. You got, you got, you got, you got what I need. I need to preach this word alive every day, but I need to take care of my wife and children. A man is worthy of his hire, and if he preaches by the same spirit, by the high power of Christ, Come on, your electricity is about to be cut off. Mine is too, glory to God. But the light of this light burns forever, glory to God. He'll put his spirit down in you that'll never go away. The light of men, we got the light of the same spirit that resurrected up our king. Jesus is king of kings and lord of lords. He's the savior of the world. And the God says this world belongs to him and this earth and the fullness of the world belong to my savior. He is Jesus Christ, the son of God who is God, manifesting himself in each vessel. And each one of us who open up their mouth and not be ashamed of the gospel of grace is the power of the salvation through the blood of the Lamb of God. And by the third power of the nation of God, by the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, He is alive in us. I'm a triune being born from the Father, Son, and by the same Spirit of God. For He created me in the image and the likeness of the Son of Man and the Son of God by the Christ King and only one chief. I'm in the chief high priest of the high calling, a cover of the order of King Melchizedek, under down to the valley of the shadow of death by the cord to those who know God. For we know God of every vessel, of every name, of every name chosen, to the Word of God faith. Everyone's ever died and went down to the ground and left their body. God is now alive, raising up this body from the dead in Christ. Quicken in this mortal body by the same living spirit. Now your spirit man's alive in you too, just as much as he is in me. 
We're the same co-heirs together in Jesus, joining us together in Christ. I'm preaching nothing but the truth, so help me, God. So if you hear the word of faith, I'm, for, I'm looking for the, uh, the new one, baby. God said, I'm giving you a new body today. I'm already here. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you can believe in the words I preach. For Jesus is the word of God by the faith of the Father God and the Son of God by alive and us speaking. Therefore, if you speak by the Son of God, by the resurrected power of God and the same Spirit who is God, now you know who's speaking. It ain't me. It's God. I just say God speaks out of my mouth because I'm a chosen vessel to preach the word of God by the faith of the Son of God and the life of the Father God and the same Spirit of the mind of God. Therefore, my body was created to worship God in the Spirit. My spirit being born of God and the Father blessed me to speak His word. Ain't nothing but the truth coming out of me. I can promise you that. I'm saved by the grace of God, by the word of God, by the life of the testimony, the resurrected power of God in my life. Jesus is alive and us speaking. Jesus is the word of faith by the word of God testifying of the Father's blessing and the same Spirit speaking. Therefore, if you know your spirit with God speaking the word of God by the word of faith by the Son of God, <laughs> you better know it's God. He's fast. I can't catch God. He's quicker than me. He's fast, sharper, two-edged sword, speaking right out of my mouth. He crucifies my mind as I continue to speak the word of God by the word of faith by the Son of God by the life of the resurrected the power of God and the same spirit in my life. My spirit's unified together with God as he once was, now is alive. As all creation of time is now standing at attention. I mean, those dead bodies down there in the graveyards, your mother dead and all them, all your grandmother and every one of them, <laughs> even Paul the Apostle, all the chief cornerstones, whoop, all the high priests and the high nations, glory to God. You call the council of the members of the faith of the council of God by the word of the foundation of the word of God before God ever created everything it once was. Therefore, before the foundation of the world, you are standing on the word of faith of all creation of all time. Therefore, everyone's ever been born of a woman is now at attention that's ever left their bodies and the dead in Christ shall rise first by the first fruits of the Son of Man who is the Son of God. By the word faith of the first one who sinned against God is the first Adam, but the last Adam set us free to be in the midst of time. Therefore by faith we speak the word of faith by the word of God, by the resurrected power of God in our life, our spirit, our spirit being born of God, born again by the power of God the Father who is his spirit's alive through Jesus Christ, our spirit born of God, and the Father bless you with the same spirit and the mind of God. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of God by the same Father. For the same Father of Jesus is the Word of God, and the Word we have now preached by the same Spirit of God. Now the Father speaks right out of our life by His unified Spirit, as my Spirit is born again in the eternal places, sitting together in heaven. It's by faith in the Spirit that we now preach. Before you die, before your body goes down to the grave, and if God reveals anything to you to outpour out of your mouth and the Word of God speaking, then you better tell your wife, kids, and all your children, everybody in your household, your neighbors, your friends, your enemies, and everybody, hey, I'm only speaking by the life of Jesus. I'm sorry. He saved you too by the same blood and by the same faith. You got to give God already. He's already alive in your spirit because He loves you greater than your sin. And the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is by the mind of God, by the Father's blessing, the same spirit. Therefore, if your spirit's confirmation by the Word of God, by the same spirit who raised Him up from the dead, He's already alive in us. This is how Jesus comes in your life. He's already saved you by his blood before the Father God. And the Father's curse is taken off your life when you receive Jesus and accept the word of faith by the testimony of the life of the blood of the Lamb. For I, my blood is his blood, my body's his body. I don't look back to my old vomit. I can't go back to the life of sin once you taste the good fruits of the fruits of the righteous, the salvation of mankind, and the word of God by the faith of the Son of God and the Son of Man. You alive in the Spirit. He paid the death penalty of his flesh for your flesh to glorify the Father, Son, and now the Son, Holy Spirit. You're triune. You are the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, creating the exact image of God. God the Father, God the Son, and especially Holy Spirit. For your spirit's one spirit together with God as he once was before he created Adam himself. And God is alive in you speaking because God loves you. He needed somebody to live in and talk to. God created this earth not anymore. That's your body. Now your mom and daddy came together and gave God a body to live in. And you got the good Christ, one King, nor one son. He gave you breath when you came out your mama. He knows everything within all things for all things to be done. Every position in Christ Jesus is one's position together with God the Father through the faith of the Son of God as we've all been born again by the Word of God. And the Word of God is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who set us all free by the blood sacrifice. He who knew no sin paid the death penalty of all of our sins, past, present, and future hope. Therefore, I no longer look at you as a world of sin. I don't see this world as condemned. It's God's world. God so loved the world. He loves the world. Everybody keeps saying, well, you're not in the world. Yeah, we are. God loves it. That's why Jesus died for it. And those who know the truth, break through. Break through right now in your mind. Let your mind be in him. As his mind now is in you. you got the mind of Christ just as much as I do. We're co-heirs together with Jesus. The same Holy Spirit is God's spirit, the Father's spirit, the Son's spirit, and your spirit. Our spirit is one spirit together. There's only one spirit of God. you got to destroy every, every work that once was before you. Throughout time, age, and season, throughout generation, God's been speaking to deliver the next generation. But there comes a generation now where we stand still in the Word of God, by the Word of faith, by the Son of God, and stand still to see God is good. God the Father is only good through the faith of the Son of God, by the life of God. Now, if you still think God's about to crack you on the head by your evil sins, you need to get blood washed really quick. For God is quickening, sharper than any two-edged sword. When we start preaching like this, all of us are preaching by the same Word, by the same Spirit of the God of judgment. And the judgment of this world has been condemned. Who is that? Lucifer. Lucifer's been judged through Jesus. Now the life of the spirits by the life of the born-again ones. 
born by the same spirit, resurrected up, life of Christ. Christ King is the only one son set us all free, not a walking spirit, as God chose us before we was ever born. And God knows your name because he named you. He named you his son. Even when your mother and daddy named you, God still knew about you. For he's in the mind of everyone that's been born again by God through Jesus Christ, Son of God, set free from the Father of the whole law. Now the law has been written in your heart to know God as you love each other as God loves you greater, greater. See now alive in us by the same spirit as we get the truth, nothing but the truth by the Holy Spirit of truth and all of us right now speaking. Therefore, if we speak by the same revelation of the word of God, by the spirit of God speaking. Therefore, I'll tell you right now, Lance Sean Gillen is not speaking the word of God. It is the spirit of God in Christ Jesus. He's alive. My body is his body now as he lives in me, manifesting by the same anointing. It's the anointing of God that destroys every works of the devil and Lance. Lance is dead. Jesus is alive. He lives in my body, my mind, and my spirit. He's his life to live. I just live, I get to live the good life of Christ. Now I was once alienated from God did not know God because I wasn't born again yet for we all must be born again to see the kingdom of God to know God of the Father the same spirit in Jesus Christ you must give your life to Jesus you must receive the gift of grace by the power of the same spirit so your spirit will be alive all of us have the same breath of God all of us have been saved by the grace of God by the blood power of God but when you believe you have been given faith to believe in God and all of you have a full me have a measure of faith now the fullness of time has now come when the fullness of the revelation of the word of God comes and God speaks out of all of our lives by the same spirit. You're not higher or better than anybody on this earth. I'm not. I consider myself right now to be the weakest of all of you right now because I'm weak in my flesh but alive in the spirit and my spirit's born of God by the spirit of God by the same spirit of the Father God who's now speaking his life in me and the more I speak together with God and God speaks out of my life, my old man is dead, dying, dying. I'm already dead fully. God appears in each one of us now. This is faith. Faith is alive in us speaking. For you're not justified by your faith. You're justified by the faith of the Son of God who is the Word of God. This is how you speak the Word of God by the life of the same Spirit who raised Him up from the dead is alive in each one of us now. And you'll begin to hear God in everybody even if they don't know it. I was hearing God speak out of my wife yesterday. I said, my God, girl, you preaching the Word and ain't never read it. And God says, she ain't got to read it. You're the man. You're the household of faith. You're the you tell her right now you are the man of God in the house. And she come out of your womb. She come right out of your side, boy. And I chose you to be a man of God, chosen by God. As we submit to God, all of us submit to the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God, by the man of God who loves his wife greater than himself. For God so loved the world and loved the church. We're the church of the Most High God. And God loves us greater than our sin of our carnal wicked minds. So let your carnal wicked mind go and start living the life of the revelation of the word of God by the Son of God who is the life of Christ of the same spirit of the Father God. For the Father blesses you through the Son, and the Son blesses you through the Father, the same Spirit, in our mind. Your mind will be, come on, your mind will be renewed by the washing of the Word of God, by the same Spirit who is God. For God's Spirit's already dwelling in you, drawing you to Himself, as He chose you to be a living epistle of the Word of God. As God speaks out of your life, you are a living Word of God. By the same Word, by the same Word who wrote the Word of God, by the same Spirit of God. That's how you know the Word of God. It's by Spirit. Our Spirit born of God. Our spirit unified by the faith of the Son of God, by the Word of God, by the Father God who speaks His life right now in our life by His Spirit speaking. Therefore, this is how you speak the truth of the revelation of the Word of God. It's by the same Spirit who is God in all of you. Am I better than anyone on this earth, standing on this earth right now? No. I'm not better than anybody. I don't come here to build my house. I've been built on the house of the foundation of the Word of God as we got the full body of Christ together. We're joint heirs together with Jesus, co-heirs together in Christ. We're the full body of the living Father. For the Father of the same Spirit in Jesus is our spirit born again today. He's alive in you too, just as much as he is me. Now let God live in each one of us. Let God appear as Jesus is appearing by the Son of God. He's the Son of God by the Father's blessing, the same mind. You understand that? That's hard to understand in your carnal mind. You, you just, you're still separated from God. Don't be separated from God. Walk in the fullness of time in the Spirit. For God's Spirit, before he ever once was, still in you. Those who are born again have received the gift of the power of God by the gift of the Holy Spirit to know God. And you can only know God by the faith of the Son of God, by the Word of God, by the life of the same Spirit who is God. Therefore, we speak together with God as God speaks right out of our life. This is the truth. This is how you know the truth. This is how you can tell the difference between a preacher who's going to rob you of money. He's asking for tithes and offerings. He's asking for you to help him in his house. You don't have to help me in my house. We are the house of God. We're the house of the foundation of the word of God built before the foundation of this world. God has created himself in us by his word, his life, his testimony, his spirit. I can't lie. I can't rob God. His spirit's alive in you and me together. I just speak the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God, by the living Spirit who is God, and the Father blessed me with his mind. You understand that? You have to get to the place where you ask of nothing. Because all of us are the same as he once was, still is. Now you got needs. I got needs. You better believe I got needs. I got my whole family going, what in the world are you going to do? I was like, I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to believe in God. I'm going to have the faith of the Son of God preached by the Father God, and God's going to draw all men into us. And he's going to provide every need that we would ever have because tomorrow's not ever coming. Yesterday I was saved by the word of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God. And if you know I have a need, then you already know who you are. And do as God says. For our obedience is his obedience on the cross of Calvary. 
and I cannot continue to walk as a man fallen nature. I'm not a fallen man. I'm a fallen by grace. Grace lifted me up and it's grace who saved me. It's by grace we've been saved through faith in Jesus and the word of faith is alive in us speaking. Therefore, if we speak by the truth or the revelation of the truth, I cannot be robbing anybody of anything that you have. You have done well in the things you have. Keep what you got. But if God speaks to you to let go of the things you have and give to the man of God speaking, then you must be obedient to do what God says. For I just flow in the Spirit, trusting God with all my heart. You know my needs. You know everything I have, God. You know my life. I am naked and not ashamed. I have not nothing but you. And I stand on your word. Your word is life to my bones. Your word is life to my flesh. Your Spirit's alive in me forevermore. I claim your body. I claim your mind. I claim this land for my Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come through the word of God, the Son of God. And your spirit dwells within me. And if I speak of all of heaven and all of earth according to the scriptures of the Holy Bible, by the Holy Spirit of my Father, through the Holy Spirit of the Son who set me free to know my Father. And if I have the same Spirit of my Father and the same resurrected Spirit of the Son, and if my Spirit one together with God speaks, I am born again by God's Word through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Father God of His Father is my Father also, for my Spirit is dwelling together with God, speaking the Word of faith. And if I speak the Word of faith by the revelation of the Word of God, just as the apostles did, I am now an a chosen apostle of God to speak God's word by the Holy Spirit. How can I return back to do things I once did when the faith of the living God is alive speaking in me? Paul went back and had to start building tents, but but they had, he had two friends, Priscilla and Aquila, that they were chosen husband and wife, came together and said, Paul, you can no longer waste your time selling life insurance. You can no longer stand. You must preach the faith of the word of God and reveal the faith that you have been given. For the faith of the word of God through Apostle Paul is the same faith that still stands in the life of Christ. And Peter, James, and John begin to preach by the love of God in their heart. And Christ's king and only one son appeared in them and their face shined like God's. And people started sacrificing to them thinking they were God. And they said, no, do not sacrifice the us for the same spirit in us is also alive in you so if you hear these words by faith receive these words for the same spirit in us together we can do all things in Jesus Jesus is the word of faith of the father's blessing of the same mind of the same spirit in all of us together for if you are lacking in need, we're all in lack of need. If one of you are still sinning, we all sin together and fall down back to the ground. But I stand on God's word, that I believe God's word is true, that will spread like wildfire, that I don't have time to return to my own vomit. A dog does not return back, as I'm not a dog or a Gentile. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus, born from the wisdom of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. His Spirit's alive in us, speaking. Preachers, I'm a preacher of the end time harvest, of the manifold seed of the word of God who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm a seed of His life. I'm a son of the living Father, of the great kingdom and the manifold wisdom of the all eternal glory. And if I preach to you any other way than the Father's blessing of the Son through Jesus Christ, my spirit being born again, then condemn me, glory to God. But there is no condemnation to those who walk in the Spirit, preaching by the full Spirit of the gospel of grace, by the power of Jesus' words. For He is the word of faith by the Father's blessing. How do you think God speaks? Out of our mouth. He speaks by His Spirit, unified with our spirit. God doesn't say anything till He speaks out of a man of God chosen by God with the same spirit through Jesus Christ's spirit and the life of the Father's spirit who's here alive in the earth for my body represents the earth and the fullness thereof and all of hell and heaven and all the kingdom itself which do you choose today I choose to die as gain and to live as Christ I choose to preach a word of faith every day all 24-7 365 for this is the day of the Lord this is the day of the Lord's appearing for he appears in the hearts of the believers by faith and those who have been given faith have the faith of the Son of God and the word of the testimony of the life of the Father. And this is the truth being unveiled in us. For no one can speak the full gospel of the full truth until they have died to their self. Died to this world. Died to everything that is common unto man. As I choose to walk in the spirit and the full gospel of grace and preach the full and determination of the word of God. I stand on God's word. Preach God's word. For his word is alive in me by his spirit. My unified spirit of the voice of the Father. For the voice of the Father is the voice of the Son who died on the cross for my sins. And not only did he die on the cross for my sins and my flesh, how can I die? God says you shall never die. You shall remove that out of your mind. You have the mind of my mind, body of my body, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. Walk fully in the spirit knowing God 
for I've saved everyone by grace. And if you hear these words, I preach under an apostolic anointing by the anointing of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, as I'm a co-heir together with Jesus, a chosen vessel, as my body is chosen to be sacrificed by my brothers and sisters, just as Peter and Paul counted it all joy to be sacrificed just like Jesus. So if I open up my hands and I open up as a cross, as you can see, come get me now. Take me out, glory to God. I will not stop speaking until God appears in the life of every born again vessel chosen before time itself as you're all chosen vessels of God. I preach by grace. I see by God. I got the eyes of the wisdom of the power of the same spirit. I hear God in all of your voices. I hear God in the wind and the trees. I hear God in every tree, every vessel, every fish, everything that ever once was is alive by God's spirit. God's spirit dwells in the hearts of the believers and you begin to see heaven on the earth appearing. No one can see heaven unless you walk into God's kingdom by the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus. And once you blood wash, spirit filled, you have the body of Christ. Christ is the anointing of the spirit. Your spirit being born of God to now know the Father who now lives in you by his spirit. And your spirit's unified through the Son and the faith of the Father is your life. God speaks right now out of your life. And if one of you are still out there sinning, not knowing God in the flesh, we all die. We all still receive the same curse of this land. So let it be unified by the voice of God while Peter was preaching. While they were here, and they all spoke the language of God. That is our lives written in the New Testament. That is who we are. God has preordained us. God has foretold the world. The world. Come on. In the Old Testament, it was it was the telling of the coming of the Messiah who came. But the New Testament is written down for our future hope. That's who we are. We are the chosen apostles, and God knows our numbers. I'm telling you the truth. God will appear in you. God will reveal these things in you. Just as Apostle Paul, nothing is new under the sun. If God chose Apostle Paul, He chose Apostle Lance to stand on the Apostle Jesus. He's a chief apostle. He's a chief priest. He's a high chief. I will not let him turn to stone. He was, he's been the chief cornerstone for too many years. Our house is fully built on the foundation of the word of God. Our body is the house that God lives in. God lives in each vessel by his spirit. We must stand together unified before we die. I say that we will never die. We overcome the fear of death itself. Where's your sting? Plead the blood of Jesus over your body, over your life, over your house. Your individual body is a house where God lives. Some say Jesus over here, Jesus over there. He's not anywhere but in us right now. What church are you going to build? We built on the foundation of the word of God by the same spirit who is God. Before the foundation of the world, God's spirit is in you. Come on, you can't come to my church and get saved. You've been churched by the same of the, saved of the body of God. Jesus paid the death penalty, his body, for your body, for God to live in. That's the truth. We don't come to gather a bunch of people. We gather all of heaven and hell itself. We gather every spirit that's ever been in the body for judgment day. And judgment day is at hand. And the kingdom of God is alive in us. For we are preaching the truth of the revelation of the word of God by the same spirit who is God. We have been fully resurrected up to be together with God. As we live in the spirit right now with God. God is a creator of all things now new. And this earth and the fullness of us brand new. New heavens and new earth as we speak with God's spirit. You can only speak by the same spirit of God as you live in the faith by the son of God. And the life of the spirit of God lives you. Jesus walks in your life. He's in the spirit in you. Say this to me. My spirit's born of God. Born by the word of God who is Jesus Christ, son of God. Jesus is the word of God. I've been given the faith of the word of God to speak. I speak by the same spirit who is God. And the father blesses me with his mind, his spirit, of his body in Jesus. He died his flesh from my flesh to glorify God while I'm alive. Amen, Harold Williams. We are saved by the grace of God, by the power of God, by the same speaking spirit who is God. And if we start speaking by the same spirit, now God the father speaks right out of our life through the son Jesus. And son Jesus gave his life for the father to bless us with his mind. Y'all quit looking for some other man. Your man is the man of Christ, King and only one son, all of us standing on the earth today. I'm not of the devil. I'm not an individual person walking around seeking whom I may devour. We're all one faith by one Lord, by one baptism in the fullness of time, by one spirit, by one mind, by one body, in the body of Jesus Christ, by one man. We were all saved to be the man of God, by the man of Christ in all of us right now. So I see as God sees and I know as God knows. For God knows the Alpha and Omega. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end of all things now, new through Jesus Christ. He's the man in the midst of us right now by God's spirit. God's spirit's one spirit resurrected up in the power of the Son of God and the life of the Father God's in my life by his spirit. God's alive in you just as much as he is in me. This is the word of God by the word of faith by the Son of God. And now the life of the Father God now manifests in all of us right now. For God reconciled the whole world back together with us through the faith of the Son of God, who's the Word of God, and the life of our testimony by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God, and the same Spirit who speaks now with God. For we speak with God right now in the Spirit. Our Spirit being born of God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Father blessed us with His mind, His Spirit right now, standing on the Word of faith, and all of heaven and hell right now. Now which one are you manifesting? I love all of you. 
the greater works of Jesus is the love of God by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit testifies of our new life right now as he speaks. I'm not just speaking my word. I'm speaking the word of God by the faith of the Son of God, by the life of the Father God, by the same Spirit who is God. God speaks. And if you can't say that God's not speaking out of my mouth, then what's wrong with you? He speaks out of your mouth the same way. I mean, we all speak the same word. We all have the same faith. We have the same body, same resurrected, same spirit, one Lord, one baptism, one faith, one spirit, and all of us right now. So if you hear these words speaking to you, I'm just saying right now, you already got the same spirit. Your spirit should be bearing witness that we're the children of God. We're the children of the Most High God, led by the Jesus Christ, who's the head of this church. Who's the head of this church? Jesus. I'm not. I'm not the leader of that church. I'm following Jesus, living in Christ. I'm saving you. I'm co heir together with Jesus, joining together with Christ. I'm not ahead of anybody. <laughs> He's the head and the tail of all things. He's the Alpha and Omega. We're in the full knowledge of the wisdom of God right now. For no man's ever preached this thing. I'm just telling you, you might start hearing other preachers preach this, but this is fresh from the throne room of God. Don't nobody rob me. Don't rob my words. If you start hearing somebody else preach this word, Listen, they just robbed it from me. They're going to take my words. I know what you're doing. Some of you come in here, peeking in here, and going out there trying to write a book on it. I'm not writing no book. The book's been written, baby. I'm burning the book down. It's behind me with devil. Satan behind me. Death behind me. I'm going to the high call and to the high priest of the high nation of the word of God by the word of faith, preaching things you've never heard before. For God in the last days reveals himself greater. For greater is he in the church of the living body of God. We come in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and the full knowledge of man. I'm a man of God chosen to be just like Jesus, and so are you. We're individual epistles of God, words of God, and God created us all the same as he once was, now is, in the life of Jesus. And Jesus is the living epistle, the living example of who we ought to be, standing on the earth, preaching the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God. And all of the apostles were destroyed by their own, by their own words. For they spoke the word of God and they hated the word of God, their own brothers, and they sacrificed them just like they did Jesus. But today's a new day that we preach by the revelation so much more. Greater is he now alive in all of us. Let this mind be in you also in Christ Jesus that we preach a word of faith by the word of God by the resurrected power of God and the Father blesses us with his mind, his body, his spirit. For he died in his flesh for our flesh to give praise as all of heaven and earth is manifesting right now. My body is the body of God. The one the Father lives in by his spirit. My spirit's unified with the Father through the faith of the Son of God by the word of God through Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the name above all names given to us to preach the word of God by the Father's blessing, the same mind and the same spirit right now. You walk around just like Jesus. Read First John, all of it. All the chapters in there. Quit thinking about the devil all the time. Get this mind in you. Think about Christ. The devil, the devil will flee. Your body will be reconciled back unto God through the faith of the word of God by the same spirit who speaks together with God and he restores all things. You can drink poison. He can't hurt you. You know what that really means? That means you can eat whatever you want to eat. You can eat the meat. You can eat, the, you can eat toenails. It don't matter to God. Hallelujah. The word of God is not eating or drinking for the kingdom of God is every word flowing from the spirit and he destroys the works of this flesh. So the flesh man who is warring against the, the spirit of God of the mind of God in me. I got the full gospel, full man in me, the full gospel. My flesh must die. Therefore, I'm dying in Jesus. I live in Christ as I am right now fully alive in the spirit, my spirit born of God, born by the word of God, by the faith of the son of God speaking. I know that it's not me speaking. I know it's God in the spirit, my spirit born spirit together with the word of God. You got anything to ask, ask it. God will speak to you. He'll give you the answer. Now, I'll just say it's not me speaking, give you the answer for the same spirit in me is in you confirming. We are confirmed by the word of God by speaking the faith of the son of God. Now, as you speak, I'll hear God. The funny thing is about this, I can't hear you, can I? No, you can only hear me, but you're not hearing me. You're hearing the same spirit in me and you together because we're all blood, washed, spirit, feel, fire, baptized. This is the way God moves. God says, I am in all of you by the same word, by the same faith, by the same spirit. How can we dwell together in unity? By one word, by one son, by one life, by one father, by one spirit, by one mind, by one place. Heaven and earth is fully restored. And the new heavens and the new earth is right here. God's never left this place. His spirit's still dwelling amongst men. God says, I've never left Adam. I just came and appeared as I manifest myself everywhere. Now I've given you my son and I died in the Son. The Father and the Son are one for all of us to be as we are right now. You understand? This understanding cannot come to your mind unless your mind has been crucified together with Jesus. Unless your body was crucified with Jesus. Unless your spirit crucified together with Jesus. Therefore, we live the life of Christ. You follow Jesus, you'll find God. For God loves you so much, He lives in you. For God gave Himself before the foundation of this world. Now we're at the end times of the harvest of the King. And God blesses us beyond measure, hope, scope. As you can see, as God sees, know as God knows. As he dwells in your heart, gives you peace. There's a past carnal-minded understanding. You can have nothing and have everything at the same time. You can have death and life at the same time. For in Christ, there's no dying, there's no death. Jesus came, when did he say there's death? No, no never. He said, they're not dead. They're sleeping. Lazarus, wake up. Talitha Kuma, little girl. 
Arise. Take up the bed and walk, O man. For today you now know God, and you can live and justify by faith of the Word of God. You can't move God. God moves you. You can't say a thing and then expect something to move. Jesus is the living epistle, the living example of who God is in all of us right now. He said, have faith in God. May the word of God manifest in all of us the same. May this word now be in you also in me. For the same spirit we have received, the spirit of the resurrected power of God, sitting in the heavenly place with God by faith, we now live justified by faith. And it's by faith that pleases our Father as he manifests himself fully in us right now. We have the faith of the Son of God by the living spirit of the Most High God. For God is the same spirit that once was and still is alive forevermore. For the faith of the word of God through Jesus Christ, Son of God, is alive in us right now. His spirit's alive in us right now. For the one who created the world, the fullness thereof is here right now in you and me together. We're the last creations manifesting by the power of God, of the same spirit who is God. We know the full knowledge of the full truth of the word of God by the Son of God. God, by the life of the Father God of the same mind of God right now. Receive you the Holy Spirit. Be filled with God. Walk in the fullness of time. Walk together with God through Jesus. For it's only through the Word of God, through Jesus Christ, Son of God, He is the Word and the faith of our life, our testimony now speaking. For God speaks His Word right out of our mouth through His Spirit, our spirit being born of God. If our spirit's unified together with the Father through the faith of the Son of God, how do you think God speaks right now with us speaking? Therefore, if you hear these words and receive these words, Receive the word of God, for Jesus Christ is the word of faith by the word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the Father God, and the same Spirit, the life of those who are now born again. This is the word of truth. My Spirit's born of God, walking in the wisdom of God by the same Spirit who raised Him from the dead, alive in us speaking. I'm heaven bound. Life is in the word. Life is in the kingdom. You'll speak God's word by His Spirit alive in you. He'll give you peace that you can't even understand. He'll give you peace. You'll be going through hell. Have joy. You'll lose everything and love God more. For the greater is He now. You'll lose it all for His sake. You'll gain everything. For if you lose the world and everything in it, for the kingdom of God, He appears. He's here. How do I know He's here? It's by faith I live. It's by faith. It's by faith I ever one of you is given the faith of the Son of God. For Jesus died not only for me, He died for all. There's not one of you can escape God's love. There's no sin out there as far as common unto man that God doesn't love you greater. For through Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God now lives in the hearts of every born-again believer. How could you even believe unless God be alive? He's alive in you before you even knew it. Through Jesus Christ, God appears. God is the same Spirit in your life right now. You know it as a little child. When you were born, God spoke to you clearly. But you let the lust of this world, the pride of this life, and the things, partakers of the fallen world grab a hold of you and take that away from you. But we take it back today. I was born into this land, born again by God's Spirit before I ever got here. Jesus died for me. I believe in the Word of God by the Word of faith, by the Son and the living Spirit of the Most High God, with the Father's blessing to reveal the truth as I speak with the truth of the Holy Spirit of truth testifying of the world to come. For we all speak by the same language of the love language of God by the Holy Spirit. And there's no way a man could preach this word unless God appear in him, open up his mouth and let his words flow out like the rivers of living water. For my spirit's born of God, washed by the word of God, by the same word, the testimony of the life of my father, Jesus. For he is my father and the father, the son, the son, the same spirit. That's how I know the son of God's my daddy. For the Father and the Son are the same in the Word. For the Word now speaks by the same Spirit. Now God the Father who loves me through the Son and the Son who died for me, for the Father to appear in me by His mind and His heart and His Spirit. He's alive in me. My God is an awesome God. He is my Spirit. My Spirit being born of God to know God of the Spirit, walking in the fullness of time, as my Spirit's always been one with God even before I sinned. But when I sinned in my flesh, I separated from my God. But God never left me even yet we all sinned. Therefore, those who are screaming out, sinners, 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 you better be blood washed. You better put your knee back down and ask God to forgive you for cursing your brothers. Instead of speaking the truth of the love of God, by the love of the Father, by the same Spirit in them, as also in you. You had pride in your life thinking you better. You became self-righteous in your own mind. You took the goodness of God's grace and became your own God. And you love being worshipped by men. But now you will answer. You will fall down back to the ground as your forefathers had from the first Adam. But we here now, the last Adam, are speaking by the truth of the revelation of the truth of the knowledge of the Son of Man and the Son of God by the Christ King anointed one Son. I stand on God's word. By every breath I breathe, 
I believe that the Son of Man, who is the Son of God in Jesus Christ, the Word of faith by the Word of God, is fully alive in my spirit. My spirit being born of God. And the, the Father's Spirit is a born again in me to know the truth of the revelation of God's eternity. For God created the heavens and the earth without form, void, and darkness. And the Word of God now is alive in our spirit speaking. For our spirit is justified by faith of the Word of God by the Son of God. And the Son of God is the same as the Father God in our mind. Therefore, our spirit is justified by faith through the Word of God, speaking by the Son of God, by the resurrected power of God, of the same Father, the same Spirit in my life, my spirit being born of God, to know the Father, the same Spirit in my mind. And this is the full knowledge of the revelation of the Word of God, understanding by the mind of God. Revelation is the unveiling of the mind of Christ, those who live in the body, outside the man, outside of time. For time itself is now knowing God has always been here yesterday, today, and forevermore as God's Spirit is fully alive on the heavens and the earth, speaking out of my mouth. I speak by the word faith of the testimony of the life of Jesus Christ, for the word of God is the Son of God, blessing me with the Father God of His mind. Therefore, I have the mind of Christ and the body of Christ by the same Spirit to raise Him from the dead. It is fully alive in my mouth speaking. So if you're mad at me, you're just mad at Jesus. You're mad at God. You're mad at the Father. You're mad at the whole world that God lives in now. For I don't live in the world of those fallen nature. I live in the resurrected power of the living Spirit. And I see God everywhere. Even my grandma that left her body, I hear Him singing. I hear the voices who are praising God in eternity. That you can enter on in now in the promised land of God with the blessings of Abraham upon this land and stand still together and sit with Jesus. For Jesus Christ set us all free to all, have all of heaven and all of this place belonging to my Father by the same mind of the Son and the mind of the river of life by the same Spirit resurrected up by the power of God speaking. And if we speak the word of truth and the word of faith by the faith of the Son of God, by the living word of God, have the life of the testimony of my Father of the same Spirit in my mind, fresh fire. God is alive in us by the fresh rain of word of God. God is alive in our mouth speaking. And if you speak the word of faith, by the word of truth, by the revelation of the word of God, by the same spirit who raised him from the dead, now alive in your voice, now you have faith of the word of God, by the Son of God, by the speaking spirit of our Father God. Our spirit dwells together with God through the faith of the Father, Son, now the Holy Spirit, our spirit being born of God, born again to preach the word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the word of God written. For the Lamb of God was written in our heart, knowing the truth of our spirit, born again by the wisdom of God, by the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible. Now the Holy Bible is true, alive in our heart, speaking the word of faith, by the word of truth, by the same spirit in the Holy Bible. I found God. I I found God in His Word. He found me in the life of the Spirit. Therefore, that if we speak by the same Spirit who wrote the Scriptures, the Word of God, He's alive in us speaking. And if we speak by faith of the Word of God, by the testimony of the life of the blood of the Lamb of God, if we're resurrected up by the power of God, we represent all of heaven on the earth. As we're royal ambassadors, I'll choose my best to be a well-informed responsible follower of Christ. I will follow Jesus and manifest the Holy Spirit by my spirit being born of God. And my Father loves me greater for greater is he alive in us. For if he died through the Son, the Son through the Father, and the Father the same Spirit in my mind. I got the mind restored to the mind of the river of God by the mind of God, by the flesh body suit of the man of God. And the man of God preaching by the faith of the Son of God. And the last man preaching on the earth. You will stand still and see the salvation in the hearts of all mankind. You will see the dead in Christ rise first. You will hear the trumpet blast as your mouth speaking together with God as God speaks his life right out of your lips for the lips of the pen of the ready writer was written down by the apostle Paul but he wrote those letters down in ink and paper but the papers being burned up by the quickening power of the same spirit we have the revelation the demonstration of the power of God of the same mind of God who's alive in us right now we cast the devil out of our mind cast off every restraint for through Jesus Christ we all live by the sword of the living spirit in our life. We speak the word of faith by the word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the Father God, the same mind, same spirit. He's manifesting himself fully in us. Come on, Tess Rusty. We are one spirit by the nation of the word of God preaching. No matter where you were born from, no matter what land you live in, no matter black, white, male, female, Jew, or Gentile, no matter where you think, whatever you think in your carnal mind, your carnal mind is an enemy against God. You can see God as he's alive on this earth right now as heaven itself is manifesting as I see heaven all around this place. I see the word of faith by the word of God, by the seed of righteous soul my life. Therefore, the harvest of the kings by God's Spirit speaking to this place. God says, I'm looking for a man of God to open up their mouth and let my spirit speak. For when God speaks out of your mouth, all of heaven and earth stand still. And everything that once was cursed of, God's not cursed anymore. God says, open up your mouth and decree and declare the works of the power of the same spirit of my spirit. Tell them all. My spirit's in the man of God, preaching the word of God by the faith of the Son of God, as we resurrected up by the power of God. And if we speak by the power of my Father, by the same spirit in Jesus Christ, his spirit, my spirit, born of God, how much more now is God not alive in all of our voices? For we are one church, unified by the church of the living God, by the breath of life, by the bread of life, by the soul of God, by the mind of God, by the mind of the Spirit, raised Jesus up from the dead, alive in our vows, voice speaking. And if we speak by the word of faith, by the faith of the Son of God, by the resurrected power of God, how much more now is God not speaking? For we can only speak these words by the same unified Spirit of Jesus Christ Spirit and the Father Spirit now alive fully in us. Y'all better get ready. You're going to be left in the dust. 
<laughs> you better dust your feet off right now. What house you think we built on? We built off the foundation of this world. And God said, I created the earth and the fullness of the earth for my spirit to live in, and I'm here right now. Those who have the faith of the Son of God have the life of the Father God. For Jesus paid the death penalty for our life to be together with God as we are right now. And if we speak the truth of the revelation of the truth of the sword and spirit in our life, then God speaks his life and our spirit born by the Spirit of God, speaking his word. How can any man preach the word of God unless it be born again by the faith of the Father God through the Son God? And now the life of the same spirit live in us speaking. For I'm creating the image and the likeness of God, but I don't worship a golden God. I don't worship a golden image. My God's not outside me. He's alive in me speaking. And if I speak by Jehovah, my Father, and the Father of the Son, and the Word of God who is Jesus, and God the Father manifests himself speaking, heaven is appearing as I speak. And I'll stand against every single one of you preachers that don't line up in the divine alignment of God's Spirit. One Spirit resurrected up in my Father. My Father blessing me with the Son, and the Son and the Father are one together in the Spirit. My mind that if my mind is fully restored preaching God's word I live a holy life I don't sleep with whores I don't go back back to everybody else I don't preach condemnation I don't preach against evil I speak one word the devil himself is crucified in Jesus for Jesus and anything once was created before God came God is the only one alive in us today I preach the good news gospel sacrificial sacrificial sins of Jesus for he who knew no sin bore all our sins upon him and by his stripes we are healed I preach by the faith of the son of the same spirit of the power of the living God I do not speak evil against God there's only one God he's the God of creation of heaven and earth and we destroy wickedness with our words for our words are not mere our words our words are words of faith of the faith of the son of God who is the word of the life of our testimony of the life of the father of the same spirit for God manifests himself fully just as he did in Jesus for Jesus is then all man and all God therefore if God died in his flesh for my flesh to be God's then so be it I live but justified by faith and all you preachers that have not invited me to your circumstances and to your conferences then so so be it. Die and go to hell. Glory to God. For we are preaching by bold faith of the word of God. And if God himself manifests of us and speaks, this is how we speak. We speak as the Father through the Son by his unified voice, Spirit. And those who are chosen to speak with God the Father through God the Son have the same Spirit who is God. How much more now should you not line up? Give your church over and let us speak. It's your time to die for every generation of Moses goes down to the ground. But you still got grips on your life and you could give to hell about these preachers who are out here dying off the vein, dying off the land, but our land is God's land. I got a word for America. This land is God's land. God sees your sins. He knows every sin known to man, for he dwells in every heart of everyone he's chosen. Glory to God. It's time to preach the truth, nothing but the truth. We submit to the governments that God has chosen. We're not against the government. You know, we're not rightfully divided. We divide the wheat and the chaff. We are divided up in the word of God. For the word of God, there is no division by the same mind of the same spirit. We're here to take over this planet. For this planet belongs to Jesus. In the word of faith to the Father. And the Father of those in the spirit. And of those who have the faith of the Son of God, they will fall before us. Glory to God. You can't touch us now. You're going to learn today. Day. You gonna learn today. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna do some crazy things up in here. Lance, you see the Holy Spirit saying God's about to open doors for you, no man can close. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse number nine. I've set before you an open, open door, door, Jesus. In fact, it's called a great door. A mega door. Jesus. Door. He's my door the Greek word to God. Door. God's about to mega size your life. He's a mega blessing. There's an upgrade. Come on, Holy Spirit, activate. Into your life. I don't know what you do, but I hear the Lord say, I'm going to set before you a mega season for you to step into something. Right now, God. Oh, Come on, fresh fire. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit, oh, activate. We're coming activate. with Jesus. Activate. Fire in our eyes and a sword in our hand. We're coming with the word of faith. For those who are dead in Christ first shall rise from the dead. We shall speak there while we are alive in the body, preaching the body of Christ. 
We're not ashamed of the gospel or the power of God of salvation. We will stand on the word of faith amongst men and women who do not know God. We will preach by faith of the word of God with the sword of the spirit in our life. We will preach things that no one has ever preached before in this life or in this time for God is revealing himself by the revelation of God's word by the life of the same spirit who raised him from the dead is alive in us the church. We're the church of the most high God. We're here to black it out glory to God. We're here to walk as a light of God in the darkness of the world. Therefore the light speakers of the light souls of the mind of God preaching by the faith of the son of the living God with the sword of the spirit in our life. We shall not die. We shall live again for we are born again by the father's spirit and the mind of the son and the mind of the father by the same spirit of the life of Christ. If you hear these words let these words be alive in you by the same spirit justified by the faith of the son of God by the father God and the blessing of God who is here today. Fresh fire. I give you praise God. It's one, two, three, four on hearts. I just got 1,234 hearts shared. God is in a divine alignment. Come on, there's 54 thumbs. One, two, three, four, five, four. Going up and down, 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 up and down like Jacob's ladder. God is coming and moving, flowing and going. Glory to God. Get your mind off the devil. Get your mind back in Christ. Let this word be in you. The same spirit that raised him from the dead is alive in us with the church on fire. Filled with God's spirit. Born of the word of God by the same spirit who is God. We have been baptized by Jesus who is the word of God by the word of faith by the same spirit who resurrected him up from the dead is alive in our bodies. For we speak by his unified voice, by his unified spirit. And if God speak out of our life, we already know where we are. We are the born again one self chosen by the vessel of God, by the word of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the living Father of God, of the same spirit of the mind of those who believe. Therefore, we've been given the faith of the word of God, by the Son of God, by the Father of God who speaks. Therefore, if we speak the word of faith, by the word of God, by the same spirit, how much more now is God not here? He appears under our words. Our words are powerful, sharpening the two-edged sword, piercing every bone, marrow, and flesh. As we walk together with God, God is alive in us. I can't stop preaching. I can't stop speaking. For when God starts speaking and teaching and walking in your life, you got the same life of the Holy Spirit. For God's Spirit's alive in us preachers. We preach a word of faith by the word of God, by the Son of God by the resurrected power of God and the same spirit who raised him from the dead is alive in every vessel I'm, I'm just as much saved as you are glory to God test we say by faith of the word of God and it's our time to build the church the real church of the body of Christ and unify in the ecclesia and let the man of God preach the word of God and have the faith of the son of God for the same faith you have received we all believe for we believe in the same spirit alive in you and me together for we have the faith of the word of God by the son of God and if I preach by any other word than the resurrected power of the same spirit in your life then I'd be lying for my spirit and your spirit the same spirit through Jesus Christ's spirit God's spirit the Father's spirit your spirit your spirit's unified with my spirit as we preach a heavenly substance of Christ by the manifold wisdom of God's spirit. And God has manifested himself within us. God's spirit's mega blessing us. Come on, it's our time. How can I go back to start selling life insurance to bury the dead when God says the dead buried already been dead buried in me? Glory to God. I'm trying to return back to my own vomit. I got no way to pay these bills. But God says you'll pay every bill as I say you will. Glory to God. You stand by faith and preach. And if those who hear my word and speak my word and they hear by the same spirit, then you already know what to do. It's time to sell out. Glory to God. You need to sell your houses and sow it into the man of God. And I'm not trying to rob you from your house. I'm just trying to get back unto thee. I'm not here to store up my storehouse. I'm here to preach a word of faith by the Son of God, by the living word of God, by the Father God. I'm just here to spread the truth. I've had enough of this. Glory to God. I've had enough of this suffering. For this temporary suffering has been enough, says God. And if you've been suffering for Jesus, you shall suffer no more. He suffered once and for all. Once you cross over to the promised land and your spirit so full of God and so full of God's spirit, you will not be ashamed to stand before men and women of any Anybody, anybody in your family, any son, any daughter, any relative, any president, anybody. There's one word, one faith, one life, one spirit, one God, and one father, one son, one life that we now live. We live in God's kingdom, and the kingdom of the living God is flowing out of our mouth. Who preach a word of faith by the faith of the Son of God, by the resurrected power of God. So God's spirit is our spirit, unified with the word of faith by the word of God. How you think we speak? We speak by God, and if God is for us, who can be against us? We preach by faith of the living God, by the living word of God, by the Holy Scriptures. Y'all can play church all you you want to but you don't go to church to know God you are the church preaching together with God as all of us speak the word of God by the word of faith by the same spirit who is God how you think I'm preaching I was born again to preach the word of God by the faith of the father God who's the same spirit of God in me for God Christ through Christ Jesus I speak by God's spirit God's spirit is unified with my spirit to preach his word Jesus is the word of God by the word of faith the son of God that makes me a son of God by the father God of the same spirit who's now speaking I speak by God's spirit who's God's spirit life he created me to worship God in eternity all of heaven all of earth stand to attention you think I'm going to die 
Ain't no way I'm dying. That's the word we now preach you ain't never heard before. We overcome the fear of death and death wears your sting. Death comes from the curse of the land. Death comes from the curse of the devil. Death comes from all those who are still out there sinning. I no longer sin. I'm blood washed, fire baptized by Jesus. Jesus is coming. He's appeared in the hearts of men and women who preach the word of God with the Father's blessing, same spirit. You didn't even know how God was coming. He's coming and appeared in the hearts of men and women who preach the word of faith by the same spirit of eternal glory. You represent all of the heaven and the earth. You represent God's kingdom on the earth. For God created the earth and the fullness of earth for man to live in. And God lives in the man. And just as he chose to live in the first man, the last man in. Jesus set you free to be the man. You're the man of Christ's king and only one son. This is the gospel that we now preach. And nobody likes to hear this word. They like to look at me thinking I know everything. I do know everything. I'm an alpha and omega preacher, but God's spirit. And if God reveals his spirit out of me to preach, how can I hold back what God has said to release? You are, you know, I ain't been on here long enough. You ain't sharing this enough. You guys got to line up with God's spirit. I've had enough of it. Glory to God. God has appeared in the hearts of preachers who are born again by the power of the spirit of God through the son of God and the father God. And the father speaks through those who believe in the son of God. And how can I believe in the son of the father God unless God be alive in me first? The first fruits of the only begotten son Jesus is the last man standing on this earth preaching the faith of the word of God by the son of God. He's chosen us through time, age, and season. Nothing new under the sun but the son of God who above the sun who created the sun and the moon and the stars is alive in us by his spirit with the seed of the word of God with the harvest of the seed Jesus with the manifestation of God's glory on the earth as we glorify the father and the son by the same spirit manifesting himself upon our head God's anointing us to preach and teach the word of God when are we going to build the church test when are we going to come together and sow out sold out come on hallelujah I got nothing to give you but the word of God by the word of faith by the spirit of God in me and you together for the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in you just as much as he is me for by the faith of the word of God we speak now who's going to speak the word of God who's going to be bold enough to open up their mouth and let God speak and stop all these devil worshiping preachers out there somebody come up here and get deliverance from me you can't get deliverance from me you get deliverance from the word of God you get deliverance from the man of God who is Jesus Christ son of God and we are the men of God chosen to preach the word of God by the same spirit of the truth we speak nothing but the truth you've been delivered by God you've been saved by the grace of God Jesus Christ did it once and for all but now we continue to die because death is still got sting upon us because we don't preach the truth nothing but the truth so help us God so get in the divine line and give your life to Jesus for Jesus gave his life for you for God the Father and the Spirit live, live in right now and we speak the truth nothing but the truth that should correct you but you're going to come against God you're going to come against these words and if you come against these words you will die I'm telling you this is happening right now everywhere around the land God's word is not playing around God's word is true and the word of God still stands for the word of God still the same yesterday day and forever speaking by the same spirit who is God God speaks by his word by the word of God through faith the son of God Jesus Christ is a word yeah, we got so far away from the word of God we don't even know what's right and wrong anymore change your mind repent come back to God you got to turn your mind back into God for God's spirit's dwelling together with you quit, quit judging everybody quit looking at their sin don't get involved in it stay away from it run from it glory to God run back to Jesus go to the cross of Calvary go before time itself for time is at hand when God says I'm appearing in the hearts of men and women who believe in me by faith. You don't even know who your identity is anymore. You don't even know male or female anymore because God's spirits reconciled the world back into himself and Jesus is appearing and the new kingdom is here. For the kingdom of God has come in the faith of the believers who speak the word of God by the faith of the Son of God. I couldn't speak these words unless God's time to reveal these things. For he's by, by revelation of the word of God. I identify with the cross of Calvary. I identify with the new man in Christ. I identify with the Son of God. I identify with the Father God, the same spirit in my life, my spirit, born again by God. I'm born again by the faith of the word of God, by the Son of God, by the life of the Spirit of God, by the same Father who is God. Therefore my spirit being born of God preaches the truth of the revelation of the word of God. Therefore if I speak you, how can I speak a lie? I can't lie. I'm here to testify the word of God by the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God by the truth who's spilling out of my mouth. We've all been saved by the grace of God. Every single one of you are saved by the grace of God, but don't know it. And how are you going to know it? You're going to live forever. You're going to live in eternity. Your spirit's going to speak together with God, and you're going you're gonna to lift up Jesus. You're going to preach the word of faith by the word of God, by the Son of God, and know the truth of the revelation of the word of God, and God's going to speak right out of your mouth. For the truth of the revelation of the word of God speaks, and the speaking of the word of God comes by the faith of the Son of God. And God speaks his word by the same spirit. And you know, sure enough, your spirit ain't preaching together. You, your spirit's preaching together with God. Your spirit is unified with the Father, Son, now the Holy Spirit, your spirit, telling the truth, nothing but the truth of the world to come. Therefore, all the hell's breaking loose on this earth. You already understand it right now. Look how much perversion's out there. These young guns, these young kids don't know God. They're so full of the devil, they don't even know they're full of themselves. They're full of flesh. They're full of the flesh devil. The devil's running around seeking who may devour. But the word of faith by the word of God is alive in us, speaking about the truth of the revelation of the word of God. Therefore, the same spirit raised Jesus from the dead is alive in us. Therefore, if you speak the word of truth, how can they not hear? Their ears have been cold. Their ears are can't hear. They can't hear even when God speaks. For they can't believe. They can't believe because they've given their life over to their own flesh. They walk around, you know, uh, sick of them, they would devour, trying to eat everybody up. But we eat the word of God by the faith of the Son of God. We eat the flesh of the mind of God. We eat the flesh of his flesh, mind of his blood, blood sacrifice. I believe the blood of Jesus over my life. I'm the house of God, representation of the heaven and earth and the fullness thereof. Hey, come on, is there still a preacher left? Uh, come on, left here, still speaking by God's spirit? Uh, we got so caught up in the world that we don't even know the difference. Glory to God. This land belongs to God's land. This is the heavenly place of the subject of Christ that we have the word of faith is now preaching. You 
were not sacrificed by your own sacrifice. You were sacrificed by the word of God, by the Son of life of Jesus Christ. And the word flows out of you so fast, glory to God. You can't even understand, even understand the words you speak, for God himself is speaking out of your life. Therefore, they, people look at me and say, what's wrong with him? Oh, well, he's crazy. He's lost his mind. You dang right. I lost my mind and my flesh mind. I got the mind of Christ. Jesus is appearing in every single one of us. This is how you love everybody and give the life of Jesus because Jesus takes over your life. Your spirit's belonging to God. Your spirit's born of God. Your spirit is the same as the Father God. This is the gospel of grace. It's easy to preach the word of God when God speaks, for God speaks right out of your temple, right out of your mouth. God lives in you. You, the church, you represent all of heaven and earth in your body. Therefore, when you know this truth, how are you going to cause Jesus to go sacrifice, with, go over there and sleep with some whore? Glory to God. He's going to keep you walking the good steps, the righteous steps. You've been preordained to know God. you preordained to walk in the spirit together with God. Jesus wants to walk. For Jesus is the Son of God, Son of Man, who sets you all free to be just like Jesus. So Jesus manifests himself. You holy. You holy unto God. You holy sacrifice of the word of God. Therefore, if God starts speaking out of your life like this, you are sacrificing unto God. Your blood, you blood washed. How can you go back to your sins anymore? You can't. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible for you to continue in your sin unless you get full of yourself again and become the devil and, 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 and cause the law to come back over you. Jesus fulfilled the law so be set free from the law that the life of the Spirit would manifest in you. That we are above the law. Jesus Christ fulfilled the law so we would all know that the law is given us freely. That the law has been written down in our heart. That the law written down in us we will not sin. And, and the law is given to the men to show you that you are sinners. Therefore you've all been sinned by the grace of God, by the power of God. And God's grace is manifesting now by those who walk in the fullness of the Spirit. Knowing that by faith of the Word of God who is trust and faith of the Father God and the same Spirit and the mind of God. <laughs> You're all gone. Fresh fire. I love y'all. Fresh fire.